Put your love in the hand out way. Nah, I'm not feeling it.
Yo, Neon Silver, Handshot, Love Boogie, Jordan. Thank you for the subs, boys. Appreciate the fuck out, ya. Love me stream.
Kinder noch in der Blüte ihrer Jugend sind. Unter 18-jähriger XQC, aufgeputscht mit Adderall und G-Fuel. All right, boys, let me get it out of your system. Chat, chat, chat. Chat, 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 chat. Chat, 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 chat. Fucking day it is, boys. I feel fan fucking fantastic. How y'all doing? Dude, dude, went to the gym, got my ass fucking beat today. Got my ass beat, but I did all my cardio. Uh, I did all my lifts. Uh, I did it with a fucking pothead stoner. It was great. Not have sex, but I worked out with one. It was good. It's a good time. Uh, I, I wanted to quit. I genuinely wanted to quit. But the lady in the front had a huge ass, and that kept me motivated to get my workout done. God bless all of the beautiful people who go to the gym who motivate my ass to keep working so I can look like them eventually. I won't. I won't. Unfortunately, I'll never be a big booty whore on this platform, which really sucks. Because if I did, I mean, good God, bro. You keep this personality with a body like a cam whore, bro. I'd be the number one goddamn streamer on this platform. It's the goddamn truth. Got your ass, got your ass eight. Yep. Yep. That's right. Are you sure it wasn't a dude with the ponytail? No, I'm absolutely positive. All right, boys, I have had a very productive day. Uh, I woke up, went to the gym, worked my ass off. Uh, and then I was going to go to this thing in Austin, but it got canceled because it rained. Uh, and then I went to this dinner. It was okay. The bolognese was uh, sick. Uh, but I've had a very busy day of being an absolute fucking shit disturber. Uh, for you guys who have been caught up, <laughs> for you guys who have been caught up on the Twitter drama, uh, I just can't stop posting. And uh, it's really fun. It's really fucking fun. Uh, I'm probably even going to make a video because what these people don't know is that them constantly tr talking about me got me on fucking trending and that boosted my analytics and my Twitter algorithm so goddamn much it was insane. So all these people who were trying to cancel me and ruin me, all they're doing is giving me more of an outreach. And the thing is, they're so fucking stupid and you know, we're kind of... <laughs> Can you the thing believe it, chat? Christmas. Yep. Just two days away. Christmas is in two days. I know. Wahoo. I am so happy about this information. I know, man. Christmas, just two days away. I know. Oh, wow. Can you believe it? Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Just in two days. I know. It got here so fast. I know. Christmas. I know. And you're spending it alone. Dude, you want to see something sick? Dude, so I got this new sweater, right? It looks fucking badass, right? Like, let's be real. Okay, low-key, when you have the hood up, uh, I promise I'm not a Klansman. Okay, I hate when I hate when hoods do that. Like, I wish hoods would just stay, like, flop down like that. 
Like, that shit makes me feel fucking racist sometimes, man. I don't like it. All right, yo, watch this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Dude. Dude. Is that not fucking wild? Imagine you see this shit behind your house. Right? Legit, dude. It can go all the way up, too. Imagine you see this shit staring at you through your fucking window. That's what's insane. And you know what's insane? I still can sense what chat is saying. Chat, everybody spam an emote. I'm gonna I'm gonna feel out which one it is. The first one they'll do is probably om. Um, and then the moment I ask that, they'll probably swap to cranking. Uh, okay. And then at that point, everybody's probably going to say, bullshit, he's cheating. Uh, there are probably like one or so people going dick tone cheating. And then there'll be a couple people probably just staring for the sake of it. And then at this point, they'll probably transition to wide techie gay sex. It sucks because I was really hoping for a dink dong, but I think that meta fell off. And then, now that I've said that, there are probably people dink donking. I would hope. I would hope there's people dink donking. Okay, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, God. Oh, ah, ah. Oh, sorry, that's me coming out of the womb. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's been good. God damn, I'm fucking bald today, bro. Holy shit. I am bald as fuck today. When did that happen? Please tell me, how are you so bald? I don't know, man, but y'all like my sweater or no? Y'all like this shit? Uh, I'm down another half pound, feeling good. New Rogue Killer EX8. Yeah, we're going to watch that shit. There's also a video that Gotcha Smack put out called, uh, I got called out by Mr. Pokey for overhyping Ruan May. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see about that. Did you see Normie Gay Twitter thirsting over you? No. No. Wait, do people want to have sex with me? If so, if so, can you can you send them? Can you send them my way? I actually knew it, bro. I actually knew you would do that. You knew I would do what? It really comments the ball. I said, thank you, dog. Mr. Pokey's reacting to it right now. Wait, is he, is he, is he streaming? Hold up. Hold up. Mr. Pokey. Oh, he's live. Oh, here we go. Here we go. As like when Silver Wolf first dropped, nobody else could replicate you. Silver absolute Wolf only one of her piece of shit. I and hate you with every Wolf, fiber of my different view. being. Oh, okay, then, How dare we're you insult Gotcha? Smack. Who the fuck are you <laughs> to insult my hero? <laughs> and stealing my job <laughs> as a yeah, reactor before I react. There's no fucking drama, dude. There's no drama. It's stealing my Yes, job. there is. <laughs> it's drama. And if you, you know think that. it's not, I'm going to make it drama. <laughs> so either way, you're <laughs> fucked. Mr. Pokey and Gotcha Smack. Huge drama. Watch the first 10 seconds. Going to be a nope. healthy debate between I refuse to hear logic. <sighs> Your stream died. Shit internet. Move to Austin. And we are sharing perspective I off of our own will milk this for content one hundred percent. Rip Bozo. Alright, cool. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh this is letting them know. I mean I've got to farm it, right? I'm gonna farm it. Alright, so I've been a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a piece of shit on Twitter. Uh, type one, if you've been keeping up type two, if you refuse to download Twitter type three, if you gave it a shot and you realize that Twitter is the funnest platform to ruin people's lives and be a piece of shit. What the fuck is this? Oh, here we go. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Actually crazy react. All right. This one was crazy. Bro, 1.2K likes, 530, 530 retweets, okay? Uh, all of these people calling me racist because I said gaming's brother was coming. Uh, God forbid I make a wordplay joke. Let's continue. The Genshin stands are sending me death threats again. I must be doing something right. They did not like that. They're saying, oh, yeah, can you just admit that you're racist? Can you just admit that you're racist? All white people are racist. Do you not get it? Do you not? All white people are racist. Yeah, I for oh, I forgot. Oh, 
Yeah, you're right. Shit. Okay. Here, maybe I prove them right one of these days. You know, maybe I take off the eye patch and I just go full, I just go full white mode, engage. You know, maybe, maybe we really get the fuck in there, bro. Uh, uh, what a surprise. So this guy tweets out, this is the guy who had the, the main, the main person has a problem with me. Uh, this is in their tweet history, which is, Ga Ming needs to be stripped, bread dominated, mind broke, double like penetrated, like triple penetrated, doggy style, missionary, reverse cowgirl, gangbang, bukkake gaped, pissed on, tied up, fingering, fisting, rimming, Eiffel Tower, nipple electrocution, spanking abuse on the fridge. Uh, so this guy talks about raping a minor. uh <clears throat> Right, let's just let's just get that out of the way. Right. Oh, and uh, who who do you think the good guy is in Genshin Genshin Twitter's uh, Genshin Twitter's mind? Out of curiosity, who do you think this guy? This guy's their hero. Mm -hmm. They applauded him. They said, "Go, King, go, go, King." Yes. Put Tectone in his place. Slay. Mo saying Ganja player. Oh, yeah. And then underneath, uh, he edits this character to be completely nude with his little cock and balls and a banana hammock underneath. So that's their hero. Okay. So we give up. We move on a little bit. Yo, Don John, what up, baby? Right. So then I put a tweet because I was told that I'm inherently racist because I'm White, you know, the tweet had 5.6, 6,000, you know, hearts. So I put out a hot take, which is, you know what, guys? I think it's okay to be white, personally. Me, personally, I think it's okay. I think it's fine. I know a lot of Genshin players think that it's not fine. Uh, she said she wins, hands down. Wait, who? The who did this? Rot on these PPS crazy. I have a contest for your clap contest, no hands. I have a contestant for you clap contest, no hands. What's the name? What's the name? Please say it's your mom. Who? Who? Yuri. Wait, link me. Link me their Twitter. Link link me their Twitter. We need an email of German Tecton. Yeah, we do. Yeah, link me, link me their Twitter, Don John. All right, let's, uh, let, let's, who? Okay. So then uh, I realized, oh, wow, a bunch of Twitter dumb fucks are busy trying to harass me and cancel me. They almost got me on trending once. Uh, wait, you're retarded? You got me, guys. You got me. You got me, dude. You got me. <laughs> Shit. Hey, hey, okay. Uh, so anyways, then I put out this just blatant lie for fun. Lying on the internet is my favorite thing to do. Uh, Twitter's down. I've been notified. Okay, that's an intentional misspell because when you misspell things, then people comment on it to correct me and that increases engagement. I know, I'm a genius. Uh, my account will be terminated in 24 hours. Thanks to all y'all who followed me and liked my post. You get to be here for the end. Was fun. See you all on my Twitch. I farmed 2,000 followers off this post. I know, mega brain. Uh, there was people in the quote retweets uh, praying uh, or, or celebrating my uh, downfall. Uh, less than two hours later, I just post me being German. This was a fire fucking tweet. Not sure if y'all seen the shit. Eindeutig. Es wird nicht einmal in der Nähe sein. Es spielt keine Rolle, ob all diese Kinder noch in der Blüte ihrer Jugend sind. Unter 18-jähriger XQC, aufgeputscht mit Adderall und G-Fuel. Es spielt keine Rolle, denn was ich habe ist Wind I have no idea what the fuck I was doing with us. Ich mitbringe, bringen andere Spieler nicht mit. Ich bin anders als andere Spieler. Keine Mechaniker nötig. Nur mit gutem Beispiel vorangehen und Charisma ist meine wichtigste Eigenschaft. Heute werde ich vier Support E-Girls zum Triumph führen. Und wenn ich gewinne, habe ich nur drei Worte zu sagen, die alles erklären. Ja. Ich fühle mich total verrückt und weiß nicht, was ich tun soll. What, what actually, what actually am I saying for that? What, what is, what is the context of that clip? It's so good. All right, then I got a, uh, a message from Camilla. Uh, showing that the subathon money isn't enough. So she was actually working DoorDash when she was supposed to be sleeping. Uh, she came over to my house. It was good. It was a great time. Uh, then I decided to put up my first thirst trap. 
on the internet. You know, there's an accurate translation of the replies. So, okay, so you should make other channels for different languages like Mr. Beast and spread audience. Bro, I'm so irrelevant. There's no reason for me to fucking do that shit. I, I, I can barely pull 1,000 viewers on a good day on Twitch, bro. I'm good. Right? I post my big, fat, disgusting ass on Twitter. This shit farmed. Uh, hoping, hoping people in the comments would say they'd fuck me. They did. Uh, pulling some black clover. Uh, then I do the absolute gigantic move of pulling out my nuts on Twitch and stroking my dick until completion. This shit was wild. Uh, 7.2 thousand hearts. Over half a million views. Shit's actually insane. I, all things considered, guys, I'll say it. When I look at that, I actually think I look pretty good. I'll say it. I, I unironically think that I look pretty good. You know, I don't look as good as Wake, but I think for the average dude, I think I actually look pretty good, unironically. Is that why we keep seeing it? Yeah, most likely. Okay, we pull it up. Okay, uh, then we realize that my jerking off clip now has more views than all of my other clips, uh, which is great. Uh, let's go ahead and check the, uh, let's go ahead and check how many, uh, how many views does it have? Let's peep, let's peep, let's peep. How many, right, uh, let's how see. many views does it have? Let's we, peep, let's peep, oh let's my peep. God, oh. Tectone, just, I hate the sound of my own voice. Good God, just, and then so does everybody else. Uh, let's just uh, check it real quick. This clip now has half a million views. That's wild. Like, that is, that is insane. That is my most viewed clip of all time by times two. You're welcome. Bro, you didn't clip it. The fuck are you on about, bro? Or are you? Or, or do I need to thank you for your one view? Hey, Golden Fantasy. Thank you for the one view. By the way, guys, if you want to sub, now's a great time to do so. I will thank you personally if you do subscribe. So if you do subscribe, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I will say your name personally. Now's a great time. Okay, this, this clip has jumped three times in viewership since then. This shit blows my mind. Okay, yo, Mr. Schnetz, I think of the Prime. Uh, then I decided to post out this, which is, yo, Arkanese, I think of the Prime. Uh, so any OnlyFans guys, girls want to come on to me, want to oil it up, twerk off, let me know. Uh, and then I got hit with a DM from Amaranth, Peach Jars, Morg Pie, Little Liliana, and Thank Jessica Negri. Uh, I will be trying to make the OnlyFans Olympics a reality. And here's a nice little tidbit. Add me to your HSR friend list, Techie, thanks. I got reached out to by Twitch staff. And guess what? I will not be banned. I will not be suspended. Because if I said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I am unfucking bannable. And I've told everybody this from the fucking start. I am unfucking bannable. Okay? Nobody's shocked. Guys, guys. I could pull out my dick and jerk off on the camera and come, and I still wouldn't be banned. The crazier part is, guys, I'm 14. So then I make this next post because people were thinking this was about shitting on e-girls, and it was a little bit, but not entirely. It's mainly just to shit on Twitch TOS. Uh, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. Me cranking my shit on stream wasn't to take a shot at e-girls or OnlyFans creators. I think that shit's great. More power to you. I'll be real, guys. I think sex workers are awesome. I think it's great. I think they're great for losers like me that can't get a girlfriend in real life. It's dope. Okay? Why bother with real women when I can just crank my shit to girls on the internet? Okay? You know what I mean? Get it done and then I want to be... You know what I mean? It's, it's like, oh, every now and then when I get lonely, I just jerk off and I realize, oh, I don't want a girlfriend. I just want to come. Right? It's that easy. My grand second was just about Twitch TOS being so fucking stupid. The system's fucked. Not the people taking advantage of it. You cannot guilt anybody for going live with their twit tits out every fucking day. You just can't, okay? Because it, it, it is merely a system to be taken advantage of. It's a large corporation. Twitch should pull their head out of their ass and fix it themselves. I put a response to Dream, which is about Dream. I put out a video with my full thoughts, but essentially Dream's a weird paranoid liar, but he's not a criminal and people should stop treating him as such. There's even more. All of my homies have seen me jack off now. Very pog. This was a great one. Uh, a Genshin Impact user decided to... They blocked me. Oh, wait, no. They privated, they privated their account. Uh, 
I also DM'd him. You want me to show you the DMs I sent him? I even went up once over. I, I DM'd them personally. They haven't responded. I said, bro, straight up making reasons to be angry. Actually insane. You even know that you lied, but you farm it for clout. Actually pathetic. Their name is, and I'll just go ahead and give you the name real quick, just so that, because they clearly want attention. Uh, their name is, uh, yeah, Akashimi. Akashimi on Twitter. They really want attention, guys. Uh, so they essentially said, and th their words, not mine. They, they literally said that I pulled out my raw dick and actually masturbated. On my stream. Right? They literally said I pulled out my dick and I masturbated on stream. That's what they, they, they're, they're being completely oblivious. And then you know what the worst thing is? Here's the worst thing. Here's the worst thing. Okay? The worst thing is later they were corrected, proven wrong, and, and they admitted that they didn't know what they were talking about, but it's too late now because they already posted it. And they didn't take the article down. Um, yeah, they got corrected. Like some bratty archon. Okay? So they privated their account because I absolutely slam dunked them. And uh, to quote a great man, this should be a copy pasta. I'm just going to be real. Okay? If, if this isn't a copy pasta format, I mean, this is just gold right here. This is literally gold. I had sweaty, visceral, hardcore, unrelenting, unprotected, consensual sex with your parents. Not just your mother, but also your father. No amount of anime shitposting can undo this. I didn't do this for me. I did this for you. I had to give them at least one point in joy in their life after having a shit Neanderthal DMS. child like yourself. They will remember this as the one good thing that came from you. You're welcome, and may God have mercy on your soul. It is... <laughs> it is truly... <laughs> it is truly... A beautiful thing. That shit's off the dome, too. That's not even from anything. That is a pure, unadulterated, raw annihilation of character. Uh, I got so many death threats that I was trending on Twitter. That is what is fucking insane. I should honestly make a video about this. This, this, this is a pretty this is a pretty nice story time. We might, we might dive into this. Yeah, I got so many death threats that I was trending on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so then, so then this person tweeted out this, no, because the fact that he did that knowing that he's a Genshin streamer, which means his fan base is full of children is actually sick. I hate him with a passion. This dumb fuck, Tiana, the biggest retard on the internet. It's actually insane. All caps, drooling, drooling on the keyboard. Uh, uh, un incapable of rational logic, like the biggest waste of a fucking life I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, good God. Oh, let, let's double check. Let's see. Are they a neurodivergent minor? No, they're a mid-transformation magical lesbian. Okay. Yeah, that, that just about, that sums it up. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so then I respond to them with, in quotations, your audience is majorly children. You're a Genshin streamer. Bro, I haven't been a Genshin streamer in a year and a half. True. Bro making things up just to be angry. True. Bro thinks my audience is majorly children. Imagine their surprise when they realize there is more 45 to 54 year olds that watch my channel than 13 to 17 year olds. 97% of the people who consume my YouTube, by the way, the Zoomer platform are 13 to 17. 3%. That's on YouTube. How many how how much do we think watch me on Twitch? Out of curiosity. Uh dude, don't you get the drama? Is it going to get you anywhere good or at least gain some viewers? Just ignore that shit. Don't give a fuck. I mean, let it go and for and forgive the each self and do whatever you want. If you actually hate stuff that's going on, there's definitely more to life than going down. You definitely have time to get disappointed in the future, so don't trust about doing it now. The problem is this shit gives me mad Twitter clout, and my mental health's really good right now, so I get to do a little bit of combating. Uh I really enjoy this shit right now. Uh I'm going to find the average age of the people who watch me. Um, on Twitch. The problem is I don't know how to do that. Is there a way to see what age are the people who watch your stream? 
Let's see. Let's see. Is there really? Pull it? I'm, I'm not going to pull it. There, there, there should be a way to just check. I would assume. I think your average probably 18 to 25. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Now, the problem is, is that I would really... I would really like to figure this out. Is there a way to figure this out? Community? Roles manager? Content? Monetization? Settings? Uh, how, how do you check? Twitch dashboard age demographic. How do you check? Analytics overview. Okay, so I go to analytics overview. Okay. Uh, also, bro, the follows I've gotten in the past two days are fucking crazy. Uh, you can't see, but it's 1,000, 1,200. So I need to figure out how in the fuck... Do you find the average age? Okay. Yep. Achievements. Yep. Stream summary. No. Research. No. Um. Community. Nah, that doesn't say shit. VTuber, engaged viewers, views by location. This is probably where I'd expect it to be. I don't think Twitch knows engagement. No, I guess there's actually no way to check on Twitch. Uh, Do learn more. Learn more. Nah, that doesn't do anything. Engage viewers, views by location, make a poll. Well, no, but people can just... Nobody's going to do that. There's really no way to check the average age of your viewers. Well, regardless, on a more Zoomer-based platform, only 3% of my viewers are below the age of 18, which is insane. So we quickly debunked that when it said, the majority of your viewers are minors. No, I'll be real. If anybody underneath 18 stopped watching my stream, I genuinely would not give a fuck. Genuinely. I would not care at all. It would make a literally negligible difference. And if that deters them, I'll be real. People underneath 18 shouldn't be watching my shit regardless. The shit that I say is so beyond fucked up, right? And the other thing is, I'll make kids depressed when I make them realize how much the world fucking sucks. They they really just shouldn't, you know? They, they really just fucking shouldn't, especially after you heralded the new meta. I mean, yeah, true, bro. With all these in games, are you even monetizing your tweets? Uh, no, I'm, I'm doing this all for free because I'm a good dude. So then I put Genshin stands want me to be dream so bad. And if you notice, these people are all trying to accuse me and paint me in the same light as dream. It's very obvious. It's very pathetic. It's very agenda-y. And anybody with above room temperature IQ uh, would understand what's going on. And then I put uh, the news about the uh, China uh, government changing gotcha games. And then I put out the realest post of my life. To all the Genshin stands who have a problem with me getting naked but have no problem with any of the other girls who do it uh, non-fucking-stop. Uh, this is the state. This is the state of the world, boys. It's true. Are you allowed to post that pic? Wait, why would I not be allowed to post the that pic? The weird thing, Toe, is that there were people in the quotes calling you a pedo because of the 3% of people. It's weird that they expect an 18-plus streamer to tend to the small amount of people that lie about their ages. Even though the minors aren't even supposed to be watching anyway. It's so weird, I need to stare, I need to stare. Hey, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Hey, just like Rockstar and GTA Five. Unequivocally, that is, uh... That's not my problem. Not even going to be close. It doesn't matter if all these kids are still in the prime of their youth. Little 18-year-old XQC juiced up on Adderall and G Fuel doesn't matter. 
because what I have is knowledge and wisdom. And what I bring to the table, other players do not bring. Because I am not like other players. True. I don't need mechanics. The only thing I need to do is lead by example. And charisma is my number one stat. Today, I will be leading four support e-girls to victory. And when I win, I'll only have three words to say. Told you so. <laughs> I won that too. Uh, I won that shit too. I won that shit. Uh, and it was easy. And it was easy. That's the craziest part. I I I viscerally annihilated that shit. And boys, I'll be real. That shit was absolutely fucking easy. Asman was right. Anyone under 18 shouldn't be allowed on social media. Just a festering hive of dumbassery. Yeah, I mean, listen, listen, listen. It's not my fault for who consumes my content. I have been Genshin free for so fucking long. I mean, guys, when was the last time I even did one stream of Genshin Impact? What? 4.0? It's been like three fucking months. And before that, what was it? Like a year? It's just insane. It is insane. But n now, enough about all that. I do just want to say, yo. Yo, <clears throat> hi. Uh, today, we're probably going to have some videos to react to. If there's anything insane happening in the world that you want me to weigh in on, feel free to post a link. If there's any crazy drama, crazy news, crazy updates that you think need, I need to weigh, on, weigh in on, or any Reddit articles or anything among the lights. Hey, take it. Why do you have a blue tongue? Uh-uh. <clears throat> Hi, mom. Uh, I have no idea. I was gonna say I sucked off a Smurf, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I didn't do that. What is this? All uh, right, clip. Okay. What is this? More links. You see Boogie's band? Yeah, thank God, bro. That shit was fucking gross. I mean, that 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 bro is like, bro is like one of the most disgusting motherfuckers I've ever seen in my whole life. Hey, um, Yoki. If I lost my rig to Eggy, do you still have him or no? Do you do you still have him? Or or no? Just wondering. If you if you have that, uh because I kinda lost him a little bit ago. What's should I watch this? Is it really good? Free Dr. Ratio EXA, yeah, I need to watch that. God damn video. Yeah, okay, I'll watch that shit. Uh, but yeah, if there's any mental brain rot, uh, Reddit articles, yeah, it's just happening. I gotta ask Kim, your daddy. Oh, fuck yeah. Thank you, mommy. I keep seeing. I bought an AI girlfriend. Oh, dude, I cannot wait to fucking watch that shit. Yeah, Kafka's trailer, but Kali's theme, I don't know why. It just fucking makes me so uncomfortable. Any games you can play today, Dookie? Uh, yeah, I might play Class of 09, but I also kind of want to play Death Must Die. Peep this, peep this, peep this. Hey, yo. Dr. Ratio may face some problems on release. Well, how's it going? Manny here. Uh, okay. Hey, yo, how's it going? Manny here. As many of you know, in the latest. Okay, all right. Cool. Watch this later, Baldy. What is it? Yeah, we'll watch this shit. What else? Uh, Project Eve, new game. Let's see. Bro, this shit is two years old, bro. Are you insane? Okay, uh, then there's this, which is what? Navia character demo. I've already seen this shit. Thank you. Is she OP or no? Looks so sick. Come on, losses. Is she gonna fucking alt? <laughs> A proper send 
the the, the problem Ren. the problem is with Genshin and back characters is that it's just like I mean I'll be real man like I I see six Farina and I see six Nervulet and I still don't want to use them like I still don't want to use them like there's just there's like no point because it's just like okay well well what do you want me to do man like they're mid and minute no i feel like nervulet is actually sick but like tectone mate bald as a cue ball no locks on his head just a shiny skull thick set like a tank but no football lost his trim looks like a blooming fool in the game he thinks he's a boss but in the mirror man's taking a loss New solo event? Oh, I love this guy. The death of Ting Yun was a- Oh! Fuck. I thought you meant Saul. <laughs> oh, damn. I was hoping to see our little frog. Oh, uh, man, I really don't like this thing in Genshin Impact, but I'm still going to play every day. Uh, you know, this isn't, uh, this isn't for news and reaction, but good video. What is it? Fear and Hunger, A Guide to Hope in the Heart of Darkness. Yeah, I need to play this. I don't want to spoil anything else. Uh, Baldy, could you sell my account? Shut the fuck up. Zway Yi busted? This character has a massive potential for damage. It's Is this Razor Ninjas? Yeah, but how do they How do they know? Like, they didn't... They didn't... They didn't look up leaks, right? They didn't... They didn't look up leaks, right? Warhammer, 40 souls, and this shit is five years old. They revealed the kit? Oh, have they? Yeah, but they didn't reveal the scalings. How the fuck would anybody know? This might be the... Gacha games are dead. Biggest news um, for gacha games. Bro is actually stupid, if that's what he thinks. Or is it a clickbait title? Even more so. Just fucking dumb. Jesus Christ. All right, let me check something real quick. Uh, let's, let's check the state of Genshin Impact versus Honkai Star Rail right now. I actually am curious what has more viewership right now. So Genshin Impact has FOB, which gives it a little 2K bonus. Okay. So Genshin Impact only... Hold up. Hide to low. Okay, so Genshin Impact only has, like, one real streamer, which is FOB Master. Okay, 2K. So realistically, Genshin Impact only has 9.2K viewers. I bet Honkai Star Wars is going to be rough. 1.4 Oh my That's god tone. I've absolutely dude. with you prepare yourself dude dude I have prepared Everyone, a great yo. and terrible I know man dude 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 you say people are waiting for 1.6 no they're not they're waiting for me to stream the game that's that's the big difference they're not waiting for the update they're waiting for me to go live don't worry once we once we stream Honkai Star Rub we'll save it okay it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Wait, Blop is streaming it? I thought this guy was dead. Why is he face camming? Something about that's weird as shit to me. He had such a good thing going without face camming. Is Blade viable without Fu Xuan? Yeah, she... Dude, if I got views with no cam, I would never use a cam. Ever. Ever. Like, legit. Like, if you can make it as a no-cam, you stay a no-cam. That, dude, that makes streaming so much fucking easier. Like, it, it is so easy. New React content by me, Techie. Hey, how are you? Wait, did you actually just self-promote your own shit? You, you probably haven't heard of me, and if that's the case, hi. I'm Moose, prospective Honkai Star Rail content creator. <sighs> this is you, Moose. My oi okay, then. I'm going to click your name. If you've been following me for over a year, I will watch it. You've been following me. Oof. Only four months, man. Only four months, man. I mean... This is a new account? What happened to your old account then? 
What what happened to your old account? Why do you have an alt Twitch? Moose on crack has never been following me, bro. So your main doesn't follow me either. So, so what's the problem here, man? No, no, no. So, so what's going on here, man? It, it says right here that you've never, you've never been following me, man. He got a ban in Asmongold chat, did he? Got banned? No, go ahead. I literally follow you. Really prove it. Okay. You know, I mean, uh, it's kind of sus, you know? Okay, so if that's your main, then swap over to Moose on Crack then. Go ahead. Swap over. No, I'll swap over. I'll give you a second. I'll wait. Okay. Go ahead. I'll wait. I got banned in Zach chat. He capping, bro. No, y'all did not get banned in Zach's. It is literally impossible to get banned in Asmongold's chat. You have to be literally, legitimately trying to get banned in, in Asmongold's chat. There's no way. Watch time. Moose on crack. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, I just swapped. I forgot 69. Okay. You've been watching me for two and a half years. And you know what's funny? I even know your name. Now, let me ask you an honest question. You've been watching me for two and a half years. How in the fuck have you never subscribed to me? I, I want to know. Asmund bans a fuck ton? Wait. You, I made fun of your name? Okay. You know what? I'll make you a deal. You personally subscribe right now. I'll watch your video. Okay? That's big. Five dollars for me for me to react to your video? That's pretty big. I'm sure you'd agree. I'm sure you'd agree. Five dollars. But you have to sub yourself. Not somebody else. Not somebody else. But I'm also very broke. Listen, man. Yeah, move some money around. Yeah, move move some money around. You'll get it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, move move some money around. You'll you'll get it. You got it. Uh, uh. Hey, well, somebody gifted you, which means unfortunately, hey, no can do anymore, man. Oh my god. Holy shit. That bro. Oh fuck. That is so fucking hot. Do you make porn? Hold up. That is so fucking hot. She looks like such a dumb bitch, bro. That's wow. There's her vagina. Yo, drop an egg. You're the five gifted subs, baby. Dude, dude. Also, hearts in the chat for dropping eggs. Hey, don't think I forgot. That's, that's one of my favorite whales in chat, man. Scroll down in the comments. Why would I do that? Nah, no. Why? Hold up. Scroll down in the comments. Okay, let's see here real quick. The Navia we need. What the fuck is this? Gachibus. Why can't they just make her look like that regularly? Am I crazy? Like, just, just make... She looks... 
Zooey Mama! Dude, she looks... She looks better like that. Am I nuts? H have you seen this? Have I seen what? What Have I seen what? Myriad Celestia trailer? Yeah, the Ruan May thing? Yeah, I have, I have. There was a really cool part. Oh yeah, this shit was wild. Who the fuck do you think you are? Causing drama, Mr. Pokey? Causing drama? How fucking dare you? You ki your kind, your kind who just sit there to manufacture drama. What are views getting low, Mr. Pokey? You got to go around and cause drama with smaller content creators because you know what? It's because your wife left you, isn't it? Yeah. Is that what happened? Oh, now you're miserable in real life because your wife left you. So now... You gotta go, you gotta go start harassing Gotcha Smack. Oh my God. You disgust me. You know, you do have one redeeming quality. Okay. You're lucky that you're not white. Cause if you were, I'll be real. I would give you a mouthful on Twitter. Like I give your mom every Saturday night. Okay. So you're lucky. Okay, buddy. Now here's the thing. Here, Mr. Pokey. So is Ruan May going to be bad now or what? What's the problem? Like, uh, what? what is the, uh, what's the issue with Ruan May? Is she bad or what? Cut your nails? No, your mom likes them. Like, how, how could she be bad? Yo, Mr. Pokey! Bro, don't give me five subs, bro. For where you're from, that's like three thousand uh, dollars. She isn't okay. I'm gonna pull your logs up. Uh, okay. What? Okay. So, is she, how good is she? Rank her on tiers, F tier through triple S tier. Go ahead. Give her a ranking on a tier. Also, I know your internet is probably shit. Six S tier. She cured my cancer. Wait, so, so, so what's the issue here then, man? What's the issue? Pure fiction tier list? Pure fiction? Yo, maybe I'll find my girlfriend there. Goat. How the fuck is this chick at, wait, how is she, how does she goaded? Wait, are we, are we, are we, are we, are we dead ass? I just don't think she's better than Bronya and Hypercarry. That's it. Is she is she actually goaded? She sucks major cock? Okay, well then I need to build her. That's ins How is Fu Shuan in D tier? Sarah plays leaked content unrelatable. No, how the fuck is Fu Shuan? Oh, because it's long-lasting, huh? It's long-lasting, so you need a more dedicated healer. So Luocha... What the fuck is Luocha? Wait, Luocha's in D-tier? You don't need sustain, essentially, all-in damage. Wait, then how the fuck is Welt not triple S tier? How in the... What the... Bro, there's no way! Is this... Wait, shouldn't Jingliu be really fucking bad because she kills your team then? Am I nuts? Dill? Where's Dill? Dylan A tier. Rip fucking bozo, boys. I have that one. I have that one. I have a... Should I get our Genji real quick? I feel like I don't need to because I feel like I'm going to get a Clara any second now. You know? Yes? Why the fuck would I want to pull a dude though? You know what I mean? Like, I, I actually feel like I will just get a Clara. So you can stroke it again on stream? Yeah, that's true. Kafka being this high up makes me stoked. Why is Bronya down here in S tier? I feel like this can't be right. I mean, who made this shit? What what clown made this shit? Chad, should I build my Herda? Should I build this one? 
Should I max her? Or no? I actually would love to do that. Unmod Sarah. Unmod Sarah. Unmod Sarah. Uh, okay. I'm going to ask a crazy question, right? Okay. I'm going to ask a crazy question. Uh, uh, uh. Who is Sarah? Uh, uh, uh. I'm just going to ask. I'm just going to ask here. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> oh, I'm just fucking with you. Oh, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, 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 uh. Was it a good bit, though? Was it a good bit? Stop being mean? No, bro. Wait, we have an Eggy W version of Stop Being Mean? That's so funny. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, let's see. First of all, don't be, first of all, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Sarah, listen. You know, I appreciate you. You don't need to be scared. I appreciate you. But unfortunately... Unfortunately, the problem is, is that Mr. Pokey said that I need to unmod you. So, it is with a heavy heart that I say, Mr. Pokey, if you ever shit talk my mods ever again, I will kill you. Okay? All right. Now, back to my stream here. Back to my stream. Okay. All right. Let's keep it going. Uh, so do we get caught up on all of the uh, the gotcha smack and Mr. Pokey drama? What do we think? <clears throat> what do we think? Do we uh, do we do we react to all the drama that they're causing? Yo, Mr. Pokey, are you reacting to the reaction of gotcha smack? Should I just react? There is no drama. Oh no, there's tons of drama. You just don't get it yet. Uh, I'm glad to see that creators can disagree and not act like the others insulted their mother. It's healthy in how the game and the community improves. I, I want to title this huge drama so bad. Oh, it would be so funny. It would actually be so funny. Insane drama. This is drama. Mr. Pokey drama. Gotcha smack drama. World War Three, gotcha. That's what I'm saying, man. There's a really good rose from Gotcha in the video. Wait, what is it? Where's that at? Give me the time. To, if the rose is good enough, I'm going to call this drama. Tekken reacting to Mr. Pokey reacting to Gotcha. Reacting to Mr. Pokey. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that'd be insane. Mr. Pokey gaslighting Gotcha. I mean, yeah, there's there's got to be an issue, man. What is this? Porn, 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 porn. What the fuck? Oh my God! They really do this shit to my girl. Oh my god, bro. What are they doing to her, man? Like, bro, do people not realize that females have ass cheeks? Like, is it really that fucking nuts? Like, I feel like I'm losing my mind here, bro. Like, maybe maybe I'm nuts, but I really feel like it is way less big of a deal than people make it out to me. They gotta be lying. React content, let's say. In this video, we're gonna help over a hundred different stray dogs find a loving home. Some oh, why? What's the point? Just let them fucking rot, to be honest. Why is her Pasha like a, a Left for Dead 2 zombie? I have no fucking idea. Timestamp? Let's see. Let's see the drama here. Hey, Mr. Pokey. Oh, here we go. Let's get out of his mouth and twisting them around and all that good jazz. Yo. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, Mr. Pokey. Wait, 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 wait. Gushing here. Which I slightly agree with and slightly disagree with. We'll go over the nuances of that discussion here in a bit as well. Uh, but we're going to react to his video live and go over the thoughts. That way you don't think I'm taking words out of his mouth and twisting them around and all that good jazz. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, Mr. Pokey, let's see what you're cooking up over here. To a very, very hot topic right now is the discussion of run mate versus... First of all, I see he ain't got them black glasses on. That's good, because he was looking like a, a budget Morpheus. So it's Bronya. <laughs> True though, true though, true. Uh, quiet can't hear shit. Yeah, don't worry, bro. I can just boost it. Volume measures that pay what you like soft. You can use it for free if you're liking pay for support development. Uh, eight hundred percent of volume boost. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can watch this shit. I farted. Biggest topic I want to touch on before. Did you just say I farted? 
like a, a budget Morpheus. So it's Bronya. Now this is by far the biggest topic I want to touch on before everything else because quite frankly, uh, there has been a lack of understanding with regards to how each support. Wait, where the fuck did he say I farted? Everything else because quite frankly, Bronya. Now this is by far the biggest topic. Oh, <laughs> by far the, by far the, by far the. I don't know, guys. Do we do we want to do we want to do we want to weigh in? Ah, oh, God, it'd be so fun. It would be so fun. No, there is no drama. Yeah, but yeah, but when you look at that smile, doesn't that make you want to turn it into drama? I'm just wait, I'm just jogging off. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I'm just like, I'm just jogging off. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, I'm just jogging off. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's so good. You can name it most whole HSR debate in 2023 or some shit. Now, nah, what if I title it? What if I title it? Ready this? Insane drama caused by Mr. Pokey. Genuine mains were right. This guy's toxic. Needs to be deplatformed immediately. I feel like that is just way more fitting. You know? Like, I feel like that's just way more fitting. That's just my opinion. What did he trip over? I don't know. All right, back to Corpa for me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Genuine mains were right. Uh, Dr. Ratio may face some problems on release. Add this. Our general. But yeah, let's, uh, let's do, uh, a, a classic tech. Let, let's see what's going on in the world besides, besides, uh, what is, um, what is going on in the gotcha world? Is there any, is there anything else going on in the world that's crazy okay so china was making gotcha games illegal okay yep new game uh-huh yep okay okay and and wait what the fuck is this Hold up, yo, Asmin, 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 Asmin. What is she, the darker TV. side of the incel world, uncovering incels? Short documentary. Okay. And then what is this shit? Boogie2988 has been banned on Twitch and removing all his clothing on Jimmy Thousand Bars. Yeah, the, the problem is, is that Boogie is a nasty fuck, Right? You know what I mean? And I mean, I'm, I and I'm sure Boogie would agree. Like, bro is a nasty fuck. Like, it's actually insane. Like, look, look at like Jack Black and that one dude from Super Bad's Kid. You know, like his balls were hanging out. Am I nuts? Like, I'm okay. Boogie two nine eight eight balls. That was his fupa. Uh, are you sure? Let's see here real quick. I'll be the judge. Let's see if these were his balls or not. Okay, I'll just watch the clear. I'll just watch the mirror. All right, let's see his balls. Oh, there you go. It looks like his enlarged nutsack. Like, am I crazy? Like, this looks like a enlarged nutsack. I don't think it is, though. No, I'm pretty sure. Is that? Oh, you can't see nothing. He has to use deodorant on his pits. You can't see nothing. Peter Griffin. Peter oh, my God. I'm seeing his balls. Are you going to lose the channel? <laughs> no, that's. I'm pretty sure those are his balls, guys. Like, even the skin color's different. Like, am I nuts? Okay, Chad, type one if those are his balls. Type two if that's his fupa. It, 
It just, I mean. Those have got to be balls, right? God damn, bro. I feel like this is like a lifelike remake of Homer Simpson's mouth. It looks bald textury. What is it? That's true. I mean, that's got to be straight nuts. It, it, it has got to be straight up fucking balls. I just can't tell, man. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to figure out if this is balls or not, man. Why, what? Relax. Trying hard to get banned? I, I, I really want a vacation, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, just, okay, let's just relax. Okay, let me let me live. All right, what is this? Uh, if that's balls, I'm black. Okay, but okay, if okay, but I, I want to make sure, Pokey, you know, if you randomly do become that, you you are still aren't allowed to say it. Okay, that does not give you the pass. Uh, an update regarding Insomniac and Marvel's Wolverine PS5. Ah, uh, do I care? Do I care? Thank you for outpouring of compassion, unwavering. It is deeply appreciated. I don't care. Okay, I don't care. Boogie calls out Twitch for wrongful ban. I got banned for Twitch for no nudity. Let me show you. You cannot see anything you're not allowed to see on Twitch because of the way I'm built, and I'm going to prove it right here. This God, look at those fucking skin. balls. This is just loose skin. This is ah! loose skin. Twitch is ableist. They banned me because I am obese. They banned me because I have loose skin. This is not my testicles. This is not my genitalia. Yeah, slamming it to death then. Tell you, Twitch, you banned me for being fat, you ableist pricks. Yeah, deserve. Uh, uh, uh. I'll be real. I hope Twitch bans all fat people. Okay? Not me, though. Not me. I'm one of the good ones. Okay? This shit's crazy. Like, this shit is insane to me, bro. Like, this shit is going to cause me mental scarring for the rest of my life. Like, this shit is insane. This is, this is classic Twitch W. Check Boogie documentary. Glorious meat curtains. I don't like showing it to people, and people don't like seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And yet you still went live and whipped out your fucking second ball sack. Uh, so being fat is a disability now? Hold up. Is being fat a disability? In deciding disability, Social Security will consider obesity only if it causes or contributes to listed impairments or severely limits your functioning. Oh, that's wild. Yo, chat, how much do you weigh? Type it in chat. How, what is your weight in pounds, in pounds, in pounds, in pounds, in pounds? And then put, put, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I'm going to, okay, stop, 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 stop typing, stop, 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 clear chat, stop, stop, everybody take your hands off the keyboard in three, two, one, hands up. Man, y'all can't listen for shit, bro. Okay. Type 255. Male, female, or prefer not to identify. And then height in American units. Six foot seven. Okay, so I put 255 male, six foot seven. Type how much you weigh. 255 male, 5'11". I'm looking for some real porkers. What's the biggest porker we have in chat? Okay. All right. And just be real. Just be real. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Yep. 139 male, five foot four. Holy shit, Kiru. Are you a fucking twink? Good God. Bro, do you dress up in fucking thigh highs every day? 
and arm stockings? Good Lord, you little fucking twink. Bro needs to be corrected. 155 male, 6 foot 0. Holy fucking Jack Skellington, man. I can probably see your heartbeat through your chest. All right, what's next? Someone said 900 pounds, ban him. I can't. I don't have a hammer big enough to carry that shit. 305 male, 6 foot 2. I still feel like that's on the healthy side. That's fine. You know, like people would call you fat, but you're still not like killing yourself by being that fat. 68 pounds, 5 foot 2, female. Holy shit, bro. You do not, you, that is not real. Bro, bro, I can curl you in one arm. You're like a fucking Ewok. Tech toe on your thumbnail? What? What's wrong with it? 270 male, 5 foot 6. Okay. You need to hit the gym. All right. And I'm telling you that because I care about you. All right. Let's see what else here. 59 pounds, female, 4 foot 5. 342, fat fuck male, 5 foot 3. 282, male, hut hut hike. Front page with boogie image? I am not fucking front page. Stop lying. Okay, prove it. If you're new here, press follow. I'm not on front page. But yeah, if you're new here, send me a photo of your balls. You are? Why in the fuck would I be front page? For what? I don't do anything. I just sit here and I shit myself and come. I don't have them. Uh, you have to pay for those? No, you don't. 190 male, six foot four. I'm trying to be like you, bro. I'm 254. Do I look like a fat fuck? Just be honest. Like, do, do I Is look like a fat greater fuck? Greater than greater than. I'm I'm 254, six foot seven. People actually go to front page. No, they don't. Do you look bald? Thanks, bro. I will admit, going to the gym again has been a great, great, great decision. Not anymore, not anymore. I never was, guys. Stop lying, okay? That would imply that Twitch actually knows I exist. Back in your Genshin days, you looked like shit. Now you look normal. Thanks, bro. Yeah, come in. Is Jing Yuan good in pure fiction or any content? Trick question. Jing Yuan being good is pure fiction on any continent. You handsome techie. What happened to the days where you used Megan to slorp glorp me, man? I missed that shit. CEO of Farina. I'm unable to view this post because the owner's account limits who can view their post. What? What's wrong? What? What's the issue? What's the problem? What'd they say? Discord app? Image? God, take away all of her suffering and give it to Tech Town. Hi, Tusi. What you think? I was born a girl, but now identify as a coconut. I am around 140 pounds, and I'm like 5 feet 2 and 5 feet 3 happy. Pussy. Absolute fucking... I have sweaty, visceral, hardcore, unrelenting, unprotected, consensual sex pussy. with your parents, not just your mother, but also your father. No amount of anime shit posting can undo this. I didn't do this for me. I did this for you. I had to give them at least one. What a absolute fucking bitch. It's time for your daily draining. Bro, bro pre-blocked me because they Drinking were afraid of what two. I was going to say. Imagine that shit. Hi, techie. Slurp, glurp, blurp, drink, dinner, gulp, glorp. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is actually so good. All right, let's uh, let's see here real quick. What are the what are the good new trending emotes? Why they want to give yep. Tectone these Genshin characters pain and suffering, bros? Throwing zeros and ones at him. Dude, Chippy Choppa, that's that's fucking clutch. Dude, I wish Blah was used more, man. It's dude, Blah is actually so good. We got predicting. Uh, I don't know about that one. Yawner, that one's gonna piss me off. 
Mao. Okay, we can say quotas lame. Fuck, fuck lethal company, bro. Grussy. I recently called you Gragas. I apologize. Boogie is fat version of Gragas. If you green screen his ass and put over the summoner's rift, there will be zero difference. I bet every time that fucker moves, he heals. Bomba. Bomba. <laughs> Noted. Good. Scatter. Good. What else we got? We got any other clutch emotes? Last time chatter. <laughs> Last time chatter. That is actually so fire, bro. What the Ooh, war. That's huge. First time chatter. Nah, I like the other one, but first time chatter. That's a good one. Coke Shaky. Really need more mileage on Coke Shaky. It's a shame that I think a boba has already died. That is the shame. That is that is definitely that's definitely a shame. Rat dance is whatever. Cat ask. It's not big enough. That's a shame. Haram. Eh, you know. They're here. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay, uh, apology video. What is this? <laughs> uh, it's really... Yeah. OMG hi. Where That's really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oi is cute, no, but it's not cute enough. Okay. Enable this. Let's see. Here we go. Caught. I got you, bro. Okay, cool. I think we need to start reacting to the good shit today. Uh, yo. What up? Hi, Tusi. I hope you play Class of 09 soon. It's a crazy game, and I think it'd be very entertaining. Some things I don't agree with, like the main character being a sociopath, like you saw in the video a few weeks ago. But I think you would find the game. You're tracking that I'm a sociopath, right? <clears throat> we're all, we're all we're all on the same page. We're tracking that I'm also a sociopath. No, okay. Well, now you know. What am I gonna do? No, nah, it's not good enough. All right, if I renew myself for another month, will you watch the vid I sent, big man? Uh, yeah, we'll see, man. Yeah, we'll see. This was a narrative disaster. Honkai Star Rail story discussion. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on. It was deleted before I got the chance to react. Bro, dude. That's so shitty, bro. Come on. Mr. Tector, could you tell me why I was recommended the video of you naked with a sensor bar? What's the story here? Yeah, the story here was I was busy cranking my fucking hog. I need to check something real quick. What is this? You got to come back for Nikkei for this character coming New Year's. Let me see. I need her so bad. All right, this chick. She's a... Uh... Tecton, I think you would love Class of 09 because I think the main character is just like you, Eggy Love. I mean, I like... I like this chick. You know, I feel like the other thing is okay. I mean, I think she's fine. Did you see this streamer? Let me see. Look, babe. In a dark world of boobs and almost naked women on Twitch, there's still hope. What's this? I might react to this in a second. Uh, I need to see if I have my shit ready for Wuhan May for a second. We're gonna play for like two seconds. China said they will revise the new gotcha rules proposal. 
Prove it. Proof or I disregard your entire opinion. Okay. What the fuck? What, what is happening? Why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I here? Okay. All right. Let me check something real quick. Someone was doing the event for you? No, that's not true. Stop. That's not true at all. Okay, so I have my Ruan May mats ready. I have 65 of these. Uh, I need to check something real quick. Do I have... Do I have relics available for Ruan May? Does anybody... Does anybody uh, <laughs> guys, I wasn't... I wasn't caught doing shit. Okay, let's just all relax. Okay, let's all... Let's, in 8K, as if Twitch bitrate could go up that high. Yo. 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 Oh, Techie, you beautiful, bald, fat fuck. Yeah, you gonna make me come. Uh, what, what set, what set does Ruan May need? Do, do we have, do we have, do we have a, a, a guide? The speed set, aggravation, you can check needed match right here. Let me check. I need to know what set they need. Speed set? Speed set or break effect? To, to quote, to quote a great man, uh, God's back, two, speed set or break effect? Four, four speed or four break? Wait, so break effect? Break effect or speed? Thief set, break. She needs break. Break effect. Uh, but does anybody have that in writing? Uh, current Nikkei event background for engine. No, I'm good. All right, let me check here real quick. What break effect do I need? Look at this. Is it porn? Woo! Look at all this. Okay, so four piece shooting meteor. Or you can run break effect on her rope. How much break effect do I need? And also, why do I need break effect on Ruan May? That's what I don't understand. You probably have a lot of good break effect pieces. Yeah, I want to use that shit. All of it? Yeah, why? 180% break effect? Maybe her ability scales off break effect? She increases damage even to teammates if she has a lot of break effect. Okay. Two-piece Pentacone, two-piece Broken Keel, two-piece Talia. Okay, so Ruan May's good with Jing Liu and Kafka. Why are you saying effect? That's what Mr. Gotcha Smack taught me, friends. All right, so we need break effect. So what, like speed and break effect? Control, shift, T. That's porn. Okay, so... Break, speed, HP, defense. Okay. All right. Do I have speed and break effect? Crit damage, break effect. All right, let me sort by uh, substat. Let's look up speed and break effect. Bro, we can't see. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll move out of the way for you. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. Crit damage, break effect. Okay, and then we have... You know what? Low key? That one is pretty good. That one is too also pretty good. These ones are pretty decent. Speed and break effect. What do I want as the main stat for the orb? HP defense? Okay. Um, well, none of those are that. Um, all right. Do I have, do I have the, uh, okay. So... <sighs> How can drop be enabled if you haven't set a game category? Oh, I, it's because I'm just lying. Yeah. Yo, what up? She needs break effect. Yeah. She needs break effect. Yeah. Effect. <laughs> she needs break effect. Effect. <laughs> she needs break effect. Maybe, maybe I hit it right now. Speed. 
God motherfucking damn. All right, wait, shake the game real quick. Bro. Bro, my shit is going to be ass, dude. No, dude. My shit is going to be fucking ass. Speed break effect. Can I hit the clutch speed? Tone. Bro. Do not make me have the worst run May of all time. Okay, attack break effect. Speed. Speed. Bro, dude. Hold up. Break effect. Hold up. There's a chance. Speed. Bro, does speed fucking exist? Okay, break effect. Break oh. effect. Oh my god. Okay. Speed. Bro, what the fuck? Speed. Can we hit break effect? Break effect. Bro, dude. It should not. Break effect. Hold up. Speed. Bro. Uh, you've been doing taxi. Wait, what are you doing? Okay, do I have any good thief pieces? Defense, speed, break effect. Boom. <laughs> Easy. Okay. That's literally gotta be good. Yo. Actually, she doesn't need break effect. She needs me. I'm dying on this hill. And so are you. Dude. Look at these boots. Look at that break effect. Chat, I'm gonna say something so controversial. I think in fact in my mind and in my heart that she indefinitely needs break effect. Okay. So we have, we have chest. We have chest. And boots on break effect. This one, there's no way I'm getting rid of this. All right. How much, how much, how much, how much? Why don't we run break effect main? Out of curiosity. That hat is so good. Nine speed. Which one? Oh, she has nine speed. Hey, 12. That's a good ass hat. I didn't even notice that shit. Okay. All right. That's a good, that's, that's a fast hat. Nine speed on a hat. That's crazy. Okay. And then for gloves, we need one more piece. Speed. Oh, I thought that said break effect. Son of a bitch. Hold up. Let's just roll it. What do we get? Boom. God motherfucking damn. Hold up, do it again. Boom. God motherfucking damn. Do we just... Do we just... That's pretty good, no? Hey, fuck it. <sighs> okay. Uh that's a that's a lot of fucking speed. Let's make sure let's make sure our Yukong is ready. Uh okay, so where's where's uh There it is. Okay, so now how much speed does that give? So 25 34 43 
52 additional speed. Is that good? Is that good or no? Um, That's really good. Okay, well then uh, she gets five from Traces. Do her rope now. Okay, so then I want uh, what? Okay. So do I want break effect rope or do I want energy regeneration? Break a hundred percent. Okay. Energy regen. Energy regen. Crit damage break effect. Break effect. Crit rate effect res. Energy regen. ERR for three turn alt. What does break effect give? ERR is useless as her value lies in the fact that one turn is enough. You have so little break effect. Yeah, it's what I'm thinking here. Uh, let's look up main stat HP. Problem is, I, I, I truly don't... I truly don't farm orbs. Can I hit speed? Speed. Okay. Uh, she only needs 143 speed. Is it bad to get her more? HP break effect. Speed. Speed. Damn. Okay. So... What am I supposed to run her on? Penacony or Broken Keel? Am I fucked? I really feel like I am. Broken Keel better? Penacony? The problem is, is that farming these is fucking miserable. Penacony's if you run her with Jing Liu. Yeah, I mean, shit, I guess that's true. I don't think I like running her with on that set. Why would I not want to run her on the dot set to give all my characters extra attack percent? Am I nuts? Okay, I am curious. Okay, if I were to make this break effect. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is break effect main with a speed sub. This is break effect main with a speed. Oh, y'all can't see. Okay. Uh, I feel like low key though. I think I would want to run the attack percent set. Am I nuts? That way she's good with all of my units. You know, like, the other ones are way too specific. Like, if I run her with space ceiling, that would be more universal. And she would be good for Kafka Comp, which I'm going to be running her with. She needs ER. She doesn't buff off attack. Wouldn't this be better on her? She has no attack scaling. Her on Tally or Keel, you're thinking Fleetless. Oh, this is just the wearers. No, that's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. So I'm thinking this one. Max HP and then all allies increase by 8%. Why not run her on Talia? The fuck is Talia? This piece seems insane. Like I'm obviously not going to use Kurei or Kurei damage. Uh, she needs ER on both main set to three turn alt. Okay, the problem is energy regeneration rate is absolutely impossible to get. You know? Like, it it truly is fucking impossible to get. 
I suppose I could use this. I suppose I could Mercedes use this. S5 or Cogas S5, Von Wok or Pinak in the air for three turn ult with skill auto auto rotation and at least 125B for 180 You probably have self modeling resin. Alright, let's pay. Do I have self modeling resin? I have three! Okay. Uh, what is her legitimately, what is her legit best set? Or should I wait for 2.0 and use them on Pentaconi? Is it? Then that only lets her be used with Jing Liu, though. You know? Check your break effect. Yeah, my break effect right now is only... I have, like, fucking none, bro. So I get 16% here, and then I'll get 16% more. Right, so 32%, and then I get 19 from here. So, yeah, that's 51.4. And then... I have around 70% break effect. You need 160. Why? Why would I need that much? Break effect equals bonus damage to the whole team. Ah, my brain hurts. I'll figure this shit out later. Broken kill, free 10% damage. Yeah, I get that. You need only 125. Oh my god, bro. My brain hurts. Okay, but like, I feel 167 speed Ruan May has got to be pretty ridiculous. You know? I I really feel like 167 speed is fucking ridiculous. It's an overkill. Yeah, but it's also kind of funny. Because then she'll be able to like, generate so many skill points for fun. Too fast? Nah, fuck that. It's funny. Yeah, no, fuck that, bro. It's funny as fuck. Uh, with 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 over wait with break over one hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get over, I bought an AI girlfriend. Asmund plus Undertale equals happy vegans. Is he actually gonna play Undertale or no? Because he's he's been promising Undertale for a very long time. Is he actually going to play it or no? Since Ron May has her buffs tied to her turn, she can be as fast as she wants, pretty much. Wait, so what it is, Ruan May has her buffs tied to her turns. Is that true? Because it would be better if it was three turns of your allies, because then you can just cycle, 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 cycle. It's like Lotus Field. I mean, I guess that's still fine. Is it is it with her ult, or is it with her ability that the buff happens? As I mentioned, playing Monster Hunter World earlier, I hope he does. I fucking hope so. He would, he would fucking love that game. You can have 300 speed DPS and go forever without bus falling off. Yeah, I should just get a 300 speed DPS, true. So don't run her in hyperspeed. It's fine because she's SP positive. Yeah, it's probably fine. Her being faster means you have to use skill sooner. He said he would tomorrow. He said he would what? He would play Monster Hunter or Undertale? Which one? Yeah, apparently he's going to download Monster Hunter last night. Dude, if Asmin plays Monster Hunter, he is going to fucking love that game. Like, that shit is so good, it's ridiculous. Can you imagine people backseating, though? Yeah, I'm going to be one of them. I will be one of the people backseating. Because, dude, Monster Hunter is so fucking insanely hard. Like, unironically. Dude, single-player Monster Hunter is so fucking hard on later fights. And, and the best thing is, because fights take so fucking long, if you die, you're miserable. Plus, you gotta play the real man mode. If you cart a single time, leave. Okay? No carting, no carting allowed. If you cart, you're a bitch. Uh, what monster to play, if you want to get into it, you should play Rise. Unironically, Rise is so fucking good. Like, the world of Monster Hunter World, surprise, surprise, is better. But Rise, mechanically, uh, is way more fun. It's way more engaging. Uh, what weapon you play? All of them. You know what I mean? All of them. They're all fun. They're all good. Just play all. I mean, if, if I had to pick a couple of my favorites, I'd probably say Great Sword, Hammer... Uh, 
light bow gun is fun when I don't when I want to turn my brain off. Uh, but, but probably hammer. Oh, dude, charge blade, not nah, charge blade, charge blade, charge blade, charge blade is so sick. But like, I mean, there's not really a bad gun in Monster Hunter besides insect glaive and rise. That's just cringe. Uh, like, why is the game so insane? Explain to me because I may play it. Someone tell me, please. Okay. There is not a better game on this earth that actually makes you feel like you are fighting the things that you're going up against. It is one of the most immersive combat feels of all time because the weight of every swing is nuts. The way the monsters react to your hits feels really fucking good. The story sucks. Okay? Don't play Monster Hunter for the story. It's terrible. They're terrible in every fucking game. But, like, when you swing a weapon and you miss, you will feel genuinely, oh, no. And when you see that monster revving up, about to kick your shit in, it's insane. Shadow of the Colossus is really good. Is that well? Yeah, but the thing is, a lot of people don't know that game. It's it's old, bro. It's old, old. Shadow of the Colossus is old, old, old. Uh, the story in three U and four U is amazing. Four U is basically One Piece. I don't know about that, man. But okay, but the way they deliver it isn't really that good. The, the voice acting isn't there. They also talk in gibberish language. I really don't like when games just fucking make up languages to talk in, where it's like, oi, 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 you know? It's just like, uh, I find that shit cringe when they speak in a gibberish, gibberish speak. Uh, but it's fine. Maybe some people like it. I'm not a fan of it. Sims, yeah, true. Full charge greatsword hits are so good. Oh, I know. It's insane. Like, they actually feel fucking incredible. Watch this monster event. I'd love to, actually. How to Monster Hunter, bro. It's okay, so He's not sick. aggroed on me, but it definitely feels like he's aggroed on me. Oh my god, what? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh my well, god. I'm feeling pretty dead right about me. Thief, go. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. God damn, it's so cool. The most important thing is, if Asmund's going to play this, he needs to play by himself. I want to show you guys one of the coolest monsters in Monster Hunter. Is it here? Yo, Chad, what's the name of RGB in Monster Hunter? Dude, RTX 4090 Savage Devil Ho. Yeah, Valstraz. Hold up. Let's do show me him. Oh, it's Pickle, baby. Oh, it's Pickle, baby. Show me this bitch. God damn, is he not so fucking beautiful? Fight him. Bro. He's so sick. Bro, the game is just like, it's unlike any other fighting experience. It's so, like, look at that shit, man! It's so cool! Oh, bro, I want to play so bad. Wait till he goes Super Saiyan. What's the uh what's the name of the first mob you fight in Iceborne? It started like a B. The the bear off? Is it the bear off? The guy who shit stomps everybody who thinks they're good at Monster Hunter? Oh yeah, Barry off. Barry off, Barry off. Dude, the Barry off fucking whoops everybody who thinks they're good at Monster Hunter World. Then they get to Iceborne, they fight Barry off, and they get their fucking shit kicked in for hours. Favorite weapon of Monster Hunter? Uh, Charge Blade. What's carding? So in Monster Hunter, you have three attempts to kill a boss. You can die once, you can die twice. If you die the third time, you lose. But I play where if you cart once, you have to give up. I'm not a fan of the carding mechanic, personally.
Bro, I want to see y'all see this motherfucker charge up. When does when does bro go full pickle mode? Oh yeah, that's the sickest thing, dude. If you if you focus a certain limb of the monsters, you can actually cut them off. So like, and when you cut off the limbs, they have to change the mechanics. So a really annoying mechanic to deal with in Monster Hunter is like tail swipes. So if you attack the tail enough, the tail fucking comes off. And you get extra material from the monster. It's so sick. Uh, maybe relevant to the topic? Every now and then, we feel pretty content with ourselves, satisfied with our own capabilities and limitations. But then there's always a younger and more successful- Wait a minute, didn't this guy make a video uh, saying he likes to have sex with women? Are we really, are we really going to support this guy? I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Successful new hotness coming along, showing us that there will always be someone to pass the torch to and carry on the legacy to meet and maybe even surpass our own expectations. So if anyone can show me a weapon like that, I'd gladly drop the sword and shield because it's certainly not this mighty morphing monstrosity. Welcome to a crap guide to Monster Hunter. There you go. <laughs> Actually so cute. If you ever feel like you're the smartest person in the room, firstly, I'd like you to look up the Dunning-Kruger effect. Then I'd like to introduce you to the Charge Blade, a weapon that requires more prep work to get going than an elderly nun in the Mojave Desert. The it's Charge so Blade sick. is the ambitious little brother of the Sword and Shield, who's been hanging out a little bit too long with the Switch Axe. It's considered one of the most technical and complicated weapons in the roster, which should be no problem switch for a Switch Axe is like me. so he can't cool. research the deeper quirks of a weapon and gives out incorrect information because he's desperately rushing to meet an arbitrary deadline. You'll climb up onto the monster who won't be able to shake you off no matter how much Taylor Swift they listen to. While in sword mode, you have your. I'm talking between Monster Hunter Rise and World Both are on sale on Steam. Uh, if you want like a better exploration game, play World. If you want better combat, play Rise. Basic watered down rip off SNS move set. Advancing slash short combo block bash spin. Ooh, it's okay, ooh. Charge Blade. We all want to be Sword and Shield when we grow up. What really feeds my Devil Joe is the Charge Blade's charging files mechanic. The most notable move is a chargeable slash via holding the right face button that starts to power up elemental files a la pick your favorite weeb trash. Once they reach red, you better charge them up by way of right face button while blocking, or else you'll be bouncing off of a monster like insults being thrown at someone with crippling depression. Charging these <laughs> files is essential to many of the intricacies of this weapon. And because I'm it's such an expert, so I'm going into cool, deep detail dude. about all the charge blades ins and outs, so I hope it's you're paying so close cool. attention because I'm not slowing down for you. Are you ready? Too bad. Here we go. <gasps> You primarily charge your blade by holding the right face button. Other attacks comboed out of it can charge the files as well, just not nearly as much. So it's best to primarily use the charge up slash while littering in other attacks to keep a healthy onslaught to the monster. Just remember to keep an eye on them because if you're bouncing, you aren't loading your files, and if you aren't loading quickly, you're not doing optimal DPS. Complete so that all the charge files are in use. Now we can block extra. Don't you stop there. Just because it's time to charge more files, I'll head on back to the top of the charge screen to see if it's still going on. Because again, I'm going by holding the right face button. Now turning your charge. Yeah. You got all that good because I'm not repeating it. Now you know how to use the charge blade. You're welcome. He explained it like that because nobody truly understands how to use the charge blade. Okay. You ever fight the Risen Elders and Rise? Because those fights will make you sweat bullets. Risen Elders? I'm actually not sure. Big man, I continue my sub for another month. Will you watch my vid? Eh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I get around to it. But yet, uh, top 10 monsters in Monster Hunter. Oh my god, Watch Mojo. Wait, didn't Watch Mojo make a video on uh Honky Bonky Star Rail? Or no? It's actually so cringe. I want to watch this so bad. I like it. 11K. Yeah, dude. Watch Mojo has fallen off drastically. Guys, 25 million subscriber channel. Barely breaks 10. Actually, you know what? Some videos do really well. Some videos do really fucking bad. Top 10 anime that are 10 out of 10.
The problem is, wait, top 10 most popular video games of the century. Wait. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down the most wa no matter the distance. Honkai Star Rail after Genshin Impact. Oh my god. Okay, listen, listen, listen. We all know that's a fucking lie. Okay? It's just not true. Okay, everybody knows Genshin Impact. Like, maybe every 10 people that know Genshin know Honkai Star Rail. And then you say, well, why don't you play? And they say, oh, I just know to fit a turn-based RPG. Hey, let me show you. It's crazy seeing Nanas with boobs. Oh my God. Be not afraid. She's fucking ascended. Uh, that's so good, actually. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, my God, bro. I just, I fucking can't, bro. It's actually insane, though, bro. It actually is insane. I hate her so much. All right, let's break it down. Why do you hate her so much? Lay it on me. I want to know. What's your... Why do you hate this chick? What's wrong with her? Is it is it because she's a woman? Or, or what's going on here, man? Nah, it's more like I hate Twitch. Nah, I hate her because she's a woman. All right, cool. All right, let's, uh, let's, I also want to watch top, dude, top 10 monsters. 10 unseen monsters in Monster Hunter. White Nargakuga. Yeah, I heard that was going to exist and then Twitter said, no, no thanks, we don't want that. Top 20 Monster Hunter monsters. Why watch Mojo, man? Come on, anybody else? Watch Mojo. Nobody gives a fuck about your opinion. It's insane. What your Monster Hunter weapon says about you. Okay, what does Charge Blade mean about me? What your Monster Hunter weapon says about you. Charge Blade, Great Sword. Charge Blade or Switch Axe or Great Sword. Most iconic weapon of the series that hardly anyone uses, since it's one of the hardest weapons to actually use. You're a master of the game, capable of predicting monsters' movements three steps in advance. Or, people are gonna think you're from Chicago, the Windy City. I said Chicago, the Windy City. Okay, fine, next weapon. Longsword. Okay, so bro was kind of slurping my dick a little bit. You're the weeaboo wonder who's wildly whipping it out. Your cosplay is one of those blind sword masters, since you don't see the difference between the monster's tail, where you should be cutting, and the monster's head, where you always seem to be going for. You have two types of moves, moves that might hit one thing, and moves that always hit everything, including your teammates. So of course you're going to spam those types of moves to the detriment of your teammates. And you bro. wonder why you're never invited to the... I know people shit on Longsword nonstop, bro. It is actually so sick. Like, dude, it, dude. When you're using it, oh my god, it feels so good. Cookout. Sword and Shield. You're either a first-time player and you don't realize that you start the game with one of every weapon in your box already, or you're a long-time player who's gone full circle, tried out every weapon, and realized that the default weapon is one of the best weapons. Also, you will. I just can't do it. I don't know why. I just do not. I, I feel like such a pussy. Like, actually using sword and shield makes me feel like a actual bitch. I, I, ca I cannot do it. Never sheath your weapon, even when it makes... Gun Lance is sick as fuck, though. Makes more sense to dash. Dual Blades. You are incredibly smart, incredibly handsome, and you have excellent taste. Because why use one sword when you can use two swords? 
Nah, it's cringe. Dual blades is cringe. Dual blades is the only cringe, the only cringe weapon type. Idiots. You also need to take a break every five minutes to drink your weapon's life support to make it viable at all, known as Mega Dash Juice. Let it rip. Hammer, you like being stepped on. <laughs> By the monster, you welcome the challenge. You always eat for feline provoker, and you would never make the same mistake that Thor I made. Watch your videos all you the time. Should have gone that. Bro, dude, dude, playing hammer or having a hammer in your party in multiplayer is the greatest. Dude, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anybody other guy? It doesn't matter. If you have a good hammer in your group. You win. It is so fucking busted. You will keep that motherfucker on the floor the whole time. It is so good. Hunting horn before rise. You're the cheerleader. Yep. You're the backup dancer. You have to constantly pull up the pause menu to look up your songs, only to immediately pause it again because you forgot which note corresponds to which button. You feel like you did 90% of your contribution at the start of the quest, and when your teammates see you off in the corner doing nothing, they'll think, oh, they must be using more songs, when really you're pausing the game to read your sheet music. You also find it hilarious that one of the biggest weapons is also somehow one of the fastest. After Rise. You saw breakdancing in the trailer, now you play like you're auditioning for a DaBaby video. Yeah! Minus, you prefer the simpler things in life. You're here to fight monsters, not learn crazy combos. Memorizing overcomplicated pages of tutorials is a waste of time. With the Lance, your combos are poke, 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 <laughs> and Run, 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 poke. Gun Insane. Lance, you do not exist. Nobody uses gun lance. What the fuck do you mean by that? Wait, gun lance is so sick. What does he... What does he mean? I use gun lance. This shit's fucking badass. What? I'm sure there are a few people who use gun lance. Switch X. Wait, what's wrong with it? It's sick! You either just started and don't realize there's a sword mode, or you watched the Monster Hunter Championships and saw the winning teams are all using the SWAX. Charge Blade. It's you sick! You enjoy reading PDFs. Charge Blade Guide, let's see here. While in sword mode attacking with charge files, bank charges to fill the files, charging the most frequent use of the super amp insect. Am I insane, or is it really not that hard? M maybe, maybe I'm nuts. Like... I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Me personally. Like, uh, sure, it's a little bit complicated, but like, not really. After you use it for like three, four missions. Wave. The floor is lava and you are French. Just swim, Monte! Lightbow gun. You cannot count and will try shooting when you need to reload on every single <laughs> round. You like the rapid fire shot so you can miss three times instead of one. Heavy bow there you gun. go. You are incredibly stubborn and have a short memory because you will always go into crouching fire right next to the monster and then act absolutely shocked when the monster hits you. Bow. <laughs> you like using sleep arrows and putting the monster to sleep just for your teammates to immediately wake it up before you're able to place your bombs because they're playing with the music muted. Or you're always asking people to do a Teostra hunt with you so you can get the 8% drop and need to upgrade the only other good bow in the game. Thank you for watching. Dude, oh man, I actually want to play so fucking bad, bro. It's so good, but I've played Monster Hunter on stream already so many fucking times. Here's a quick peek at Rise and Risen Elders and Monster Hunter Rise I mentioned earlier. Let me check this real quick. Have I, have, I, have I caught these dudes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit! Uh, so, a little bit of immersion break. I have not beaten Sunbreak. Uh, so, if you're asking me, have I beaten this dude? Actually, no. I have not beaten Sunbreak. I, uh, I stopped. Yeah, uh, was it good? Because that shit looks fucking nuts. I bought Sunbreak to replay it? Yeah, I did the same thing. Cause, cause the game, the game is actually really fucking hard. Like it is really, really, really fucking hard. Okay, cool. Asmund beat Hollow Cure today. Hey, congratulations, man. That's big. 
What's this? Ello Gays. Yeah. Today we have a list of top 5 scariest jumpscares. Número 5. Crocodile jumpscare. This is so close, man. Come <laughs> Número 4. Shopping cart jumpscare. I hope bro died. Número 3. Lego jumpscare. Watch this hydraulic press crush this Lego. Número 2. Creature jumpscare. <laughs> Scariest Jumscares. Scary Alerts. Download the Oh man, it was so good that last cringe ass one, man. Damned, what the fuck? Ello Gays. Today we have a list of top 5 Discord mod. Número 5. Discord mod Farbs. Please. As if you could handle even a fraction of my power. Número 4. Discord mod Scream. Número 3. Discord mod File. Hey, am I? Sir, can I help you? Número 2. Discord mod Method. Honorable mention. Número uno. Discord mod go outside. What the hell? Bro, that's my fucking alarm, bro. Oh my god, that made me so angry. It made me so angry the moment I heard that shit. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. Uh, you're, in, you're in a coma. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Top five black person? Ello gays. Today we have a list of top cinco black person. Número cinco. Black Unitolak. Okay, I need to get off this video. Uh, uh. DJ Khaled's son Assad was student of the month at his school. <laughs> Okay. It starts at home, Dad, so I'm glad you're there. Okay. Thoughts? I don't care. That is that is genuinely that is genuinely my thoughts. I, I, I mean, okay. Damn, DJ Khaled checked it on his son. That's insane, bro. I mean, we the best. All right, cool. Cats. 500 till Jade. 750 Stellar Jade. That's pretty good. Okay. Yep, yeah, we get the cats. I, I don't like how we don't get to keep the cats. That really makes me angry. Okay, you get to play as a dog. That was huge. That changes everything. Context with a DJ Khaled clip. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Say it again. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. It's already brought out, man. It's already out. I can't bring it out anymore, man. Pick this Hoyo Fair Art. Okay. All right. Damn, that is sick. What the fuck? Bro, low key? Trailblazer looks hot as fuck right there. 
Damn, that looks good. What? Did you see this? Did I see what? In a dark world of the boobs and almost naked. No, I didn't see this. Women on Twitch. There's still hope. What's this? What is it? Scrolling through Twitch and found this artist who seemed a little down since nobody was watching his stream. Okay. So I said hi. Oh hey, my man. God. There's somebody <laughs> actually messaging? What the hell? <laughs> I asked to see some of his art. Yeah, sure, let's do it. The type of artwork I do is this. Oh, art, shit. And it ends up looking like stone. I'm sure you oh, I've seen stuff like this. This piece means a lot. This arm is mine. And this other arm belongs to my father. Oh, I wow. I asked if I could share his art with you guys. Help someone else out. I, I appreciate it with all my heart. But help someone that will benefit all of them. Then he said this. Right now, since the age of 13, I'm probably like the brokest I've ever been. That's why I'm doing artwork again. Yeah. Can we change his life and get this beautiful soul's artwork noticed? That's nice, man. That's really cool. Holy sh- Wow, what the fuck? Some of those are really good. God damn, look at this. Holy shit. Yeah, these are really, really good. That's awesome. Extremely creative. Yeah, I like it a lot. That's awesome. He's got almost 50k followers now. Well, good for him, man. That's so cool. And yeah, I really like that. Holy shit. Uh, the duality Have of Twitch. The um... You know how people say I have really bad takes? <sighs> oh, man, I'm really about to give one right now, man. I am really about... I was really about... Oh, man... I was really with the video there for a little bit. I was really with the video. Oh, no. oh God. Am I the only one thinking that's just a little bit disingenuous? There's just like... There's just like no way. It it does just feel so fucking staged. Like one viewer comes in, hey, do you mind if I share your art? Oh no, dude. Do that for someone who needs it. Shut the fuck up, bro. Like Yeah. I mean, come on. You know, there's just... There's just no... I mean, the dude's art was cool. Let's go. But, like, what the fuck does that even mean? Share someone else's art who needs it? I'm super broke. Wow. I don't know. I don't need anything. But I'm really broke. Sorry, man. As a professional Among Us player, I just smell bullshit a thousand miles away. It was a good PR move, you know? But there's just no way that shit isn't completely fucking fake. And that's fine. The art's cool, you know? But, like, who the fuck says, nah, man, don't share my art. Share it with someone who needs it. What the fuck does that even mean, bro? Like, I'm sorry. None of his art was original either. It was just copies of licensed stuff. I mean, listen, man. I'm not here to hate on the guy. But that was one of the biggest, fakest, fucking wholesome shit I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. Not to be a bitch. You know me. I am truly salt of the earth. I am a great guy. But I just, there's just no way anybody on planet fucking earth is actually like that. But you are a dick. 
Yeah, probably. Anyways. <laughs> anyways. All right. Anyways. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's react. Um, guys. Yeah. Can I slice some potatoes? Yeah, go ahead, man. All right, cool. Not to be a dick. The guy with oiled up twerk off soon in this title calling this guy out for baiting viewers. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm going to do the oiled up twerk off. That's the crazy thing. You know, like it would be baiting viewers. It would be baiting viewers if it was a lie. But the thing is, it's not a fucking lie. So why don't we just chill? I'll do it. You think I won't do it? Unless. Uh, do it. No, I'm going to do it. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to twerk. I'm going to get other people to do that for me. Let me take a shit. Wait, I'll be right back. Uh, what do y'all want to watch in the meantime? Here, what, what do y'all want to watch? I need to use the bathroom real quick. Uh, let's put on, let's put on, uh, let's put on, who's doing porn right now? Uh, let's do, um, Master Chef Canada. Uh, Daily Dose? I'm down. Okay. I will Hello, be everyone. back by the time this video is over. I guess removing car ramp can be pretty mesmerizing. I just discovered a new candle trick. Yes. Oh my god. How do you even find out that you can do something like this? Oh, Chandorena, va! Va, va, oh, Chandorena, por el penal del sedicivo. Y juegue! So, what exactly was the goal here? Good thing this guy had a kayak to help him get across the river. This guy discovered a new way to punch. A few days ago, one of my subscribers recorded this incredible rainbow cloud that was spotted in the UK. There's a new exhibit in New York City that allows you to recreate the iconic steel beam photo. You know about Elf on a Shelf, but what about Moose on a Roof? One of my subscribers was on a plane and recorded this weird rainbow cloud effect. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This news reporter was trying to do a segment on elephants. Out cases, it is up to us to be guardians of our own natural world, save our wild species, and provide a home. <laughs> <laughs>
These guys were just finishing up filming their podcast, but were rudely interrupted. It got so quiet in here. How did I... The amazing thing is that nobody was hurt. I think we're fine. I think we got all the audio on there. The skier fell into a massive hole in the ground that was hidden under the snow. He wasn't hurt and was able to stop himself from falling further in. Tiger Shark! Tiger Shark ran me! Oh. Paris has recently been going through some protests and riots, but people for the most part are unbothered. Mr. Booth, I have a question for you. Did you go to Nautilus for middle school? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry oh, to see you there. I always wondered what happened to you, sir. Oh my goodness. This is the nicest kid in middle school. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mr. Booth, I hope you were able to change your ways. Good luck to you. After spending 10 months in jail, he managed to avoid crime and is now a manager for a pharmaceutical company. The guy was out skiing when he stumbled upon a snowboarder that was upside down, buried deep under snow. Hold on, I'm coming. <sighs> you okay? You okay? Can you breathe? You all right? I'm good. Okay, okay. He managed to dig down and save his life. Take your time, man. Yeah. I know I showed these guys once before a while ago, but they're back. This tribe in Africa decided to try a burger for the very first time. You need like a very big mouth to eat this. I really like the burger. It is similar to car hat. They're supposed to put the, the tip. When you bite, it, it's falling over, so you have to hold. Don't worry, the kangaroo wasn't hurt. The video is absolutely incredible, and I can't believe I got permission to share this. What you're looking at is cells dividing in real time to grow a baby newt. When it gets bigger, you can start to see the blood cells traveling through the body. This video has been exploding on Instagram because it looks like this anteater has two heads. A student actually sent this video to a professor to complete an assignment. What's up, professor? I'm actually trying to submit this. My crewmate doesn't know how to shut his mouth. So, uh, yeah, here you go. And no, my daddy's still out there on Capitol Grill. And all my dad don't want to be stuck on that patate, the fagiolini, and the broccoli. I found a very rare type of family. This couple got married when they were 22 years old and then immediately adopted two teenagers. So, in a way, they basically adopted roommates. So I guess playing scary video games with the room lighting matching the game is terrifying. Oh god. This man was found 11 days after the major earthquakes in Turkey, so his brother was shocked to learn that he was still alive. This woman trained her chickens to run for cover if there's a hawk in the area. I guess it's possible for ducks to become overweight because I have never seen a chubby duck before. This baby just had the greatest milk and is ready to pass out.
I decided to change his pickup name every time he goes to Starbucks. Captain McDibbles? Totally. We have that ready for you. Nice. Here to pick up a mobile order? What is the name on that? Gandalf Igly Wampus? <laughs> I gotcha. I, I made that. I remember that. Here to pick up a mobile order? Okay, we're about to go to Ash hole. Broccoli. Apples. Pears. Bananas. Carrots. Chicken. <laughs> Unfortunately, trying to fight G-forces doesn't give you the most flattering video footage. Hey guys! This woman doesn't seem to understand where her property starts and where it ends, so the fisherman just ignored her. Dude, you ever take a shit so big you just like sit there and just like acknowledge it? Where it's like, wow, that was a lot. Like, I, I'm telling you, like, that was shocking how much shit was in my stomach. And I, it felt like a BBC. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this shit was long. And then it had a brother the same size. Like, and then I'm just sitting there being like, thank God it's out. Honkai Star World of Sword Discussion. They're dead. Yeah, we're going to watch this shit. I'm actually very interested. Okay, let's delve deeper. I've been wanting to watch this. The darker side of the incel world. Uncovering incels. Short documentary. For those of you who are saying, techie, 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 what's an incel? That means involuntary celibate. What does that mean? Celibate are people who don't want to have sex. Involuntary celibate means someone who really wants to have sex but just fucking can't get any. So, if you're watching this and you have a Genshin profile picture on Twitter, they're talking about you. Let's find out. Pockets of the internet, there is a subset of men who call themselves incels. And we've been meeting yeah. with them. Obviously, I had violent thoughts. You do me dirty, I will do you dirty. Oh my god, an internet tough guy, bro. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. All right, yep. If you hurt me, I'll hurt you back. Okay, bro. Mostly young men, usually virgins, who blame women and attractive guys for why they... Okay, you can't say incel and then say usually a virgin. Someone who has really wanted to have sex but never gotten any is an incel aren't in a relationship or having sex there is most likely not a single female on the <laughs> bro isn't even wearing that mask for the video he's that's just his normal get up <laughs> i was like what are you doing but you don't you don't have to wear that man's like no it's, it's 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 the mask you don't want to see what happens when i take the mask off then you'll see my true darkness power incarnated on the planet that would be willing to date me in a growing online movement many buy into a hateful misogynistic and sometimes violent rhetoric <laughs> <laughs> all women are psychopaths how can you not hate women women are to blame for men turn being into underage girls are women programmed to cheat Oh my god, that's insane. Bro, I don't know which anime girl hurt these dudes, but Jesus Christ. How does somebody get this fucked up? This is what happens when you overdose on anime. I don't want to be in those spaces anymore. I don't want to see the things that they're saying. So what happens when this online hate spills out into the real world? How did this young man who seemed to have everything become a mass murderer. 
It all started when I was rolling on the Hu Tao banner at Genshin Impact, and I lost the 50-50. From there, my life started going downhill because I couldn't get my girlfriend on my account. And that's why I did it, officer. <laughs> that's why I did it. Before we start this story, we want to let you know that it contains violent and distressing content, including references to sexual violence and racist slurs. Oh my god! Okay, I've played League of Legends before, I've seen all this. First up, we're meeting an incel who used to- Holy shit, sure for! ...to have violent fantasies about women, but now no longer does. Hi there. Hey, who are you? Nice to meet you. I used to be a full-blown incel, hate, hate women, f you know. I, I genuinely can't even get that. And maybe that's my problem, right? I can't relate to this. I love women. Short women, tall women, muscle women. Okay, I need to stop before they try to cancel me just like they did Joe Cat. Um, but the idea of merely hating someone based on their race and or gender is such a odd concept to me. Because it is it is rooted in such idiocracy and, for lack of a better term, retardation. Uh, I just don't understand it. Like, do you... How, how do people not understand that the way that someone looks or by what genitals they have does not, well, 2023, any gender, okay, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, like, why the fuck would that be able to tell you their entire personality or being because someone's white. It's like when I go on Twitter and I get told, you don't understand this because you're white. You're like this because you're white. Ba 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 ba, you're black. Right? Like, do, do you know how fucking stupid you have to be to even subscribe to that line of logic? It makes no sense at all. Like, people hate what they don't understand. You really needed to use the R word there. What's the R word? Uh, sorry for being my skin color. Yeah, it's like, what do you what do you want me to do? Imagine not hating yourself. No, yeah, 100%. Uh, because they don't take time to look at anyone's perspective except their own. Yeah, but it's just insane how, like, one person might have a bad experience with a white person or a black person and then immediately assume someone's entire existence. It is just truly the most Neanderthal way to live your life. It's embarrassing. It's so it's really Obviously, I had violent thoughts. Um, I always held back, you know, in real life. Thoughts of, like, women that I did want to, you know, rape as a teenager. There was quite a few women that I did want to break their nose so they would be ugly and couldn't get a hot boyfriend. Damn, bro, we're admitting that publicly? That shit is wild. That shit is a fucking why. Okay, well, why is that, man? Why, why were you like that? Ryan, which is not his real name, was 15 when incels started emerging online. Like it was everywhere and I got pretty involved in it. All my friends got pretty involved in it. The website he visited is now the biggest incel forum on the internet. Hoyoverse forums? The hatred towards women is encouraged. And while I regret having those thoughts, I don't blame myself. Obviously it's bad, I've recognised it's bad. Um, I don't have those thoughts anymore, but all in all, I felt the way I felt for a reason. And I feel like, you know, every other intel feels like that as well. Ryan says he's always felt like an outcast. In his teenage years, he was bullied for his height and he says all of those bullies were women. I was taught women are queens, you know, respect women, all that stuff. I wasn't allowed to ever discuss how bad women could be. I have had a sexual part. Okay, if you hate women so much, then why do you have that many anime figures? Is it because those women can't hurt you? Or what in the hell is that shit? Listen, I'll be real, bro. I'll just say it, bro. Okay? Regardless of gender... If someone, if someone hits me, I am going to Meliodas full counter it. Okay? But just 
having thoughts of I'm going to break this person's nose. Also, Schlatt plush in the corner. That's wild. Just having the thoughts of, oh, women bad, that's insane to me. Partner before, but I've really struggled with expressing myself to anybody at all. Yeah, I know. That's why you relate to Chainsaw Man, like that statue in your corner. You are truly, he thinks he's reformed. Uh, I'm not an insult anymore. What's your favorite anime? Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Denji just like me for real, bro. He just like me. Now 21, Ryan still identifies as an incel, but he's trying to move away from a community that he calls toxic. The majority opinion is... The fuck do you mean I identify as an incel? What the fuck does that even mean? Kind of disgusting. I see the most foul shit of my life every day. The pedophilia. It's quite rampant. They can't get a girlfriend, so they're resorting to... Where?! whatever women they can find. Ryan says he's seen other incels laugh at videos of people being dismembered, and sometimes even more. There's a lot of them that just enjoy seeing people suffer. Like, ah, oh, it's a stupid bitch, she got raped. She deserved it, lol. It's really disgusting. <sighs> what the fuck? That is... That is wild. I mean... Oh my god. This guy gives incels a bad name. We're not all like this. <laughs> bro, why is, why is bro self-reporting like this so hard? This is actually nuts. This, this, this has to be fake, right? There's no way anybody is this fucked up. Why is he wearing a dish hat? Okay. They just sort of brush it to the side, like, oh, these are these are just satirical posts. It's like, no, they, they do feel that way. Incels are mostly young men who believe women will only ever date the most attractive guys. It's a community fixated on its inability to find a partner or have sex. But when right Okay, am I crazy? Uh, okay, guys. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just say it, okay, guys. It's really not that hard to get a girlfriend. It it really is, and if it is that hard to get a girlfriend for you, just lower your fucking standards, okay? Like it's really not that hard. Then go get one. I am never going to be in another public relationship while I'm still a content creator. Absolutely fucking not. Having having the internet judge my whole relationship based off of like, hey, can I have a cup of water? Oh, what the hell, bro? Are you hitting her? Or like one conversation. I'm just, I'm good, bro. I mean, dude, imagine how fucking stupid the Genshin Impact community is about everything. And now imagine them judging your relationship based off of every interaction. Imagine, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I will never publicly date ever again. To be honest, I have eight girlfriends right now and you'll never meet them. It's not hard. Here's what you do. Okay? You find a boy. Let me phrase it. You find a man. You find a woman. You talk to them. You get to know them. You figure out who their friends are, what they like, and then you know what you do? You dedicate your time to being the best person possible for that person or make yourself the best version possible of yourself and naturally those things will take place. Make, make sure that when you hang out, you're both having the most fun, right? Make, make, just make them have you be your favorite person. It's really that it. it it's not hard. It's really not hard. And I'm speaking from when I had no money, and I'm speaking to where I now have lots of money. It's, it is really not that hard to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, okay? It, it's just not. Like, just lower your standards. I wish it was also that simple. I mean, it is.
I, I mean, it is like, what, what is, explain to me, what is the hard part of getting a girlfriend? Okay. Any, any issue you put in front of me can be overcome by lowering your standards or not being a lazy bitch. Go ahead. Try to stump me. Tell me why it's impossible to get a girlfriend. Okay. But what if I want someone I love? Okay. Loving really isn't this whole magical connection that some people think that it is. Just choose someone to love and then just love them. It, 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 it's really not that fucking hard. Just be like, oh, I really like this person. They're great. I mean, I mean, what, the, you're never going to find someone where it's like, oh, we do all of these things together. We do all this shit. It's better, honestly, if you don't, because if you just love them and they in turn love you back, then you can teach each other to love these things that you both like. It's it's really, it, for, this shit isn't Disney, guys. It's really not that complicated. Speaking as a fat dude, it's not that bad to find a girlfriend, TBH. He's completely right. I know. Now, the real problem is, is finding a girl that you enjoy more than video games. That's a problem. And at that, and at that point, just download the AI app, right? Love isn't a choice, Techie. You're right. Oh, my God. You got to wait for the fairy godmother to come around, and then they have to wave their wand, and oh, and then you'll feel it. Oh, my God, the magical feeling. No, it's not. You know what my shit was? I'm just like, okay, I want a chick with who plays video games. Boom. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Now, it may not be forever. And to be honest, if you fail a relationship, if you fail a relationship a couple times, it is what it is. To, to me personally, I think it's better to just get dating or even marriage experience in. That way you can learn how to be a better partner for when you actually do find someone who you really sync up with, right? Now, I will say, Finding a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband or a wife really isn't that hard. Finding one that you want to stick with forever, now that is, right? Because you'll learn a lot of things knowing a person at base level versus a friend versus a girlfriend versus a wife is very, very, very complicated, right? But if you're down to figure it out and put yourself out there, I promise you, the more sex you have, this goes for guys and girls, okay? If you're a girl and you're having sex, no, that doesn't make you a fucking whore, okay? I promise you, if you go to have sex with a dude and you have at least like 10, 11 interactions down, it's going to be a lot fucking better and nobody's going to complain. Plus, if a dude really doesn't want to have sex with you because you had sex five times before, they're a fucking prude, dumbass incel who doesn't deserve you anyways, okay? There's nothing wrong with women being experienced in sexual field, and it's really annoying to hear that shit. That stigma needs to be broken immediately. Let me tell you, having sex with a person who's never had sex before fucking sucks, Okay, getting fucked by like an animal like lust machine, it feels like they're sucking the soul out of your body. It's so much better. Okay, so like don't shame people for having sex. Oh, I want to be the one to train them. Okay, bro, well then why don't you die and get reincarnated in anime and then fuck Tsunade as the fourth Okage? Okay, uh, just lower your standards a little bit and realize it makes no fucking difference whether blood comes out of their vagina the first time you have sex or not. It really doesn't fucking matter. Uh, I might agree if STDs doesn't exist. First of all, use a condom. Second of all, just get them checked. Good God. It's insane. You can't help them all, techies. Some are hopeless. Figure it out, man. Figure it out. It's not hard to ask, but one time I asked, the girl said no, and her friend... Her... <clears throat> it's funny because I know you, Comfy. And I'm going to, I'm going to read, I'm going to read, I'm going to read your comment out loud because I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shit on you a little bit. I'm going to shit, I'm going to shit on you a little bit. Okay. It's not hard to ask, but one time I asked, the girl said no. And her friend heard and made fun of me. <laughs> I think from a man's perspective, it's more the fear of being made fun of <laughs> when the girl says no. Okay, I want to be real. If someone were to make fun of you just for asking, 
do you really think that person was worth your interest in the first place? You can be a little baby and get your feelings hurt, or you can realize that you dodged a bullet because now you don't have to deal with them or their shitty fucking friends. And Comfy, Comfy, I literally know you, bro. You're a great guy. You're a good-looking dude. Bro, you're like, what, 20? You're going to be fine. And the other thing is, don't have this whole idea of, oh, I need to get out of high school. Then I need to get a girlfriend. Then I need to get married right now. Bro, wait. Literally wait. They're, they're like, dude, even waiting till you're 40. I know, I know there's 40-year-old virgin. Even waiting till you're 40 really isn't that big of a deal. It truly doesn't fucking matter. You want me to tell you why? Okay. Even if you wait to 40 to have your first time having sex, let's say it happens, nothing can take away from you that you're Diamond in League of Legends and the top of the DPS charge in World of Warcraft, okay? And when you show bitches your resume, you'll get pussy, guaranteed. Brian got a girlfriend. He was shunned. You're a traitor. Get out. You're not in cell. Slowly over time, realized that if I keep having this horrible toxic mindset i'm never gonna go anywhere in life true besides prison or well the arcade <laughs> that's wild even though he's trying to leave the incel world he still has some strong feelings towards women it's more just jealousy that women sort of get dealt a little bit of an easier hand in life than men Okay, bro. We all have our own issues. Women have it easier for some stuff. Men have it easier at some stuff. This whole blanket rule of, man, women just have it so fucking easy. Do you know how hard it is to be a ugly fucking woman? Now, what you could have said is, oh yeah, being a ridiculously beautiful woman is so easy. It's the same for being a ridiculously beautiful man. Do you know how hard it is to be a ugly woman where you will be judged immediately upon your looks? It's like the same thing as being a broke man. Okay. Majorly. Okay. Just, I'm just keeping it hundred percent here. Okay. Majorly women will be judged immediately based on how they look. Okay. Men will immediately be judged based on what they can provide. That is generally how it goes. It's not always the case, but generally that is what I have found. Being an ugly woman is, is fucking, it's like living life on max difficulty mode. Okay? Because uh, sexism exists, guys. Sexism exists. Okay? That's why all of them dye their hair purple and pink and they get into anime because they need to get into everything that losers are into. That way, hopefully, they can find themselves someone who will put up with them it's it's very sad it's really fucking sad i mean i'm sorry but it's it's fucking it blows man it blows like you know how dare you speak the truth you son of a bitch yeah no woman pay for my rent uh, well okay get a woman with a job now i will admit finding yourself a partner and i'm sorry to break the old 1960s 1950s bubble Finding yourself a partner that equally supports you in all aspects of life is very nice. I know a lot of men assume they need to pay for the rent, pay for the dinner, pay for this, pay for that. But if you go 50-50 on everything, it's incredible. I will never do another relationship where I have to pay for everything. It is the most toxic, unrewarding shit on planet Earth. It makes you feel like a piggy bank rather than someone who is actually cared for. So... Men, ladies, find yourself a partner who works to for the other person just as much as they work. Find a person who works for you just as much as you work for them. Because everyone, and I mean this genuinely, everyone is worth more than unrequited love. I promise you that. I absolutely promise you that. Like, it's always expected for men, you know, approach the girl, buy her stuff, shit like that. These days, I feel pretty neutral about women. I don't hate them as violently as I used to. And while Ryan hasn't acted on those violent thoughts, others have. 
Oh Joshua shit, Rival Gator! Looking at the link between incels and violent terror attacks. We know that they're on the increase internationally. In North America, 60 terror attacks that can be linked uh, to incel actors. One of those terror attacks was the infamous killing spree of Elliot Roger. So many what people the fuck? are dead and another 13 injured in what Californian police have called a premeditated mass murder. Before what? his attack, he published a lengthy manifesto Bro, for women alt. and attractive men for why he hadn't found a girlfriend. More recently, a British incel posted videos raging against his mother and his inability to attract women. After posting those videos, he killed five people, including his mother. The vast majority of uh, incels uh, are reasonably peaceable. In relation to attacks carried out by incels in Australia, there are no known attacks. But he believes incels may be linked to other crimes. Law enforcement aren't always attuned to what may constitute an incel terror attack. Attuned? You just got to do a, uh, it's like a 27 part quest from the burning steps into Upper Black Rock Spire uh, and make sure you're attuned. Okay, I need to chill the fuck out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> In many cases, they've been treated as uh, murders rather than terror attacks by authorities. Yeah, it's On a number of occasions, Australia's National Intelligence Agency, ASIO, has called out incels as a potential threat to national security. They are just violent extremist misogynists who believe women are the root of all of their uh, problems and they've killed people overseas. And we have people with those beliefs here in this country. I and a lot of the other younger girls and boys in these communities were effectively groomed by the older people around us. Although the majority of incels are men, Lani- Okay, maybe I don't understand what grooming is. Can somebody break this down for me? Because what my knowledge is of grooming, right? Sorry, I don't, I don't look into this too much. Is when a adult male or a adult female essentially teaches and, well, grooms someone who is under the age of 18 to be their preferred sexual partner and to have them look at them like they're a god? Is that kind of it? Nah, it's a shaving technique? Okay. Yep, kind of, pretty much. Grooming doesn't have to be sexual. Okay. So what is an example of grooming that's not sexual? I'm trying to get informed here. You can groom somebody to be anything, like a future CEO. Okay, sorry. Grooming in the negative connotation. Because I understand grooming someone to be your heir or your successor. Yes, but it doesn't have to be sexual or under 18. Just a power dynamic difference. How? Okay, explain to me how a 30-year-old can get groomed. How does that work? Like, does, is that a thing? By a grandpa? Uh, yeah, let me just Google this word. What is grooming? Negative. You manipulate them to be someone you want them to be. And they don't want to be that person? Grooming is when someone builds a relationship, trust and emotional connection with a child or a young person so they can manipulate, exploit, and abuse them. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that obviously be sexual by nature? Am I nuts? Trust me, I don't agree with the modern definition of it either, but it's purely manipulation tactics. So essentially, I mean, it really feels like it would just be sexual, right? Like convince someone that they want to be sexually active with you. Just like you and us, we manipulate you. You're saying that chat is grooming me. No, that's not true, guys. Okay, I'm far too intelligent. I'm far too handsome. Grooming can be used in the sense of families with child actors. 
Okay. So, essentially, the, I guess the reason why it's confusing for some people, so I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out an easy way to explain this, is that there are, there's a good term of grooming and then there's a bad term of grooming. Like, for example, if parents were to groom their children to be successful and, like, be good at studying math. Because I promise you, I did not want to go to school, but my parents groomed me into doing that. Right? But uh, the bad one is when people say, hey, trust me, nasty fucks are really hot. What the fuck? is That sounds so wrong. You know what? It's obviously a confusing term. That's called education. Yay, bro. My, my teachers groomed me into fucking doing chemistry in ninth grade, bro. Fuck that. Most people call that raising a child. Yeah, well, in my day, I call it grooming, to be honest. I groomed the streamer into kissing my hot lips. Yeah, probably. Should be called manipulation and not grooming. You see, look, look at how look at how difficult this is for Chad to get on the same page with us. Like, parents force their young girls to do beauty pageant shit and exploit them for profit. Yeah, no, I get that shit. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So essentially, grooming is when somebody manipulates someone into doing something that they don't want to do for that one's uh, own self-interest and not the other parties. That makes sense. That's a much easier way to explain it. That, that, is, a, that is a much easier way to explain it. Cool. Annie was one of the few women allowed into the community. She connected in online chat rooms. In most of these community servers, you would find probably two to five women and everyone knows who they are. I guess I've always felt pretty outcasted in school. I'd say that was one. Bro, is bro walking her cat? Bro, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. One of the main reasons I stuck around because you Oh, look at that little kitty. I didn't really get that outside of the internet. Oh, look at that. Lani was That is so pointless, by the way. Chat, do not walk your cats. Okay? They don't need that. Unless they're like a savanna. Like, just keep them inside. You don't need to do this shit. 14 when she joined the incel community. But by 16, she wanted nothing to do with it. There were a lot of older men weaseling their way into your close circle and getting you to open up. Even get us to lie about our ages. And their only goal with me was to acquire some kind of relationship or sexual encounter. They go for younger women because they're typically more vulnerable. And what kind of things would they tell you? Um, like typical grooming things, phrases like, you're so mature for your age, or you're not like the other girls. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it shouldn't be funny, but it's so fucking cringe, dude. Because every girl wants to be told they're not like the other girls. I, I remember I told one of my homies who was a female, uh -uh, it was my favorite thing. They said... I'm not like other girls. I enjoy video games. And I say, no, I assure you, you are like every other woman I've ever met. I have never seen a more insulted face in my entire life. I literally said, you are the most generic person I've ever seen. <laughs> they don't like that, man. You're not like the other streamers. You're so mature for your following. I know, guys. Holy shit. Check tone. He's so basic. He's so basic. That's how you get laid? No, I don't have sex. That's that's my superpower. That's my superpower. I just truly don't enjoy sex that much. You know what I do enjoy? Connecting mentally and getting blown, right? That's the best part. With some of the incels, she had online and real life connections. Yep. But she says many of them used her. I experienced sextortion. My first experiences were them taking photos or videos of me without my knowledge in very like compromising Whoa. positions. And then what the fuck? Me with those things to post it online into the dark web, possibly, and have it circulate for the rest of your life. Okay, pardon me. What in the name of my level 27 warlock ass is the dark web? I thought that shit was a joke. Wait, is there a dark web? What the fuck is that? You don't know? No. It's real? How the fuck do you get to the dark web? It's deep then dark. 
Bro, that shit is real and it's fucked up. Fuck no, that shit is real as hell. Don't ask that. Sites that are privately hosted you can only get to with specific links. It's not a good place. Oh, dude, I thought that shit was a joke. Don't ask that. They are listening, Tectone. By using Tor, it's not even that bad. If it's don't ask, it's actually a thing, and it's very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Do not search it up. Okay, well, okay, well, uh... Guys, let me tell you, tomorrow's stream is going to be crazy. I got a crazy idea. And she says what happened to her isn't even the worst of what she saw inside the community. In most of the communities, majority of the guys had some story where they had been accused of something the most severe being rape. Lani told me that other incels overseas had been arrested for violence and being with underage girls. After the second or third one, I was like, okay, there is definitely a pattern here. I don't want to be in those spaces anymore. I just don't want to be there. I don't want to see the things that they're saying. And I don't want to know about. I think the worst site I've ever been on is probably 4chan. But I started going on on that shit when I was like high school for like memes and like rage faces, you know, like uh, forever alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, yeah, I will 100% agree. I, I think Twitter is worse than the shit I've seen on 4chan, but. Uh, I don't go on B or anything anymore. You know, sometimes four slash poll is funny to, to laugh at fucking idiots. The worst that I've ever seen is twitch.tv forward slash tech down. And you're banned. <clears throat> and you're banned. No fucking way you actually believe that. Well, maybe I haven't been onto the right threads or the wrong threads of 4chan. You know, what's happening in there. Because the problem is, the problem is, is that 4chan info doesn't have SEO, right? But Twitter misinformation spreads like fucking wildfire. I mean, guys, let's, let's be real. I was trending on Twitter yesterday because I pretended to jerk off on stream, right? I got over 5,000 death threats in the span of 24 hours. That has to be a world record, okay? I out-trended Pokimane because I had that many death threats, Right? Like, I gotta be doing something fucking right to be getting that much attention. There are hundreds, potentially tens of thousands of men in Australia who feel so marginalised from uh, wider society that they need to gather in these communities. Man, from VR chat to a philosopher, that's insane. Good shit, Raffle Gator. To find some sort of connection with others. Josh says it's difficult to engage with himself. Hey, I'm sorry, but showing these places as these evil beings and then seeing Pepe doing, oh, bro, that's crazy. Y'all remember, remember when Pepe the Frog was an international symbol of hate, man? Look at how far we've come, bro. We've come so far. Thin cells, who are often... I will admit, though, 4chan in public is crazy. Like, that is crazy. You, somebody sees that, they are going to know who you are immediately. There are very little things you can generalize someone's entire existence of, but if you see one actively browsing forward slash B in public, you know 90% of their personality immediately. It's been hidden away in private online communities. There is a, a vacuum of information for young men who spend a good chunk of their lives online, uh, who are being hit with misogynistic material not only daily, but, but hourly, by the minute. Dish? So now that you're trying to put some distance between yourself and the community, where does that leave you? Well, it's only up from here, I think. It's nothing but toxicity for the most part, so I think I'm just going to move on it, from it completely. He's going to go on League of Legends all chat immediately after this and call whatever top lane that's feeding every single slur in the book. Eventually. I think it'll take a few years. Why do you think it'll take a few years? It's years? Just years? Years? Good God. 
These motherfuckers need to realize how to adapt. If I want to change anything about my personality, I can go like that. Want to know why? Because I'm a fake bitch. No, but it's like if I don't want to be something, then just change it. I can't possibly think about anything about me that I that I want to change but can't. Besides, I wish I would stop yelling. And I just can't stop fucking cranking my hog. Other than those two things. You know? Everything is pretty easy to just like stop being this way. We're going to circle back. We're going to circle back to that in a second. Tool conditioning that I've experienced as a teenager, I've got to sort of reverse most of that thinking. So for someone who hasn't reached the same headspace as you, how do you think we can engage with those incels in the community? Take them seriously. What? Treat them like humans because that's what they've really sort of deep down always wanted. Why the fuck would you? What the? That is the worst piece of advice I've ever heard. Take them seriously? Shut the fuck up. That's the absolute worst thing you can do. Here's an idea. Take him to the fucking gym. Do you think anybody is going to have energy to be that stupid on the fucking internet when they're having to pump iron for at least four hours a fucking day? No. They're going to want to go home and maximize their games, gains and hit their macros. Okay. Because, I mean, you know, they're like, oh, dude, if I got jacked, then I'd have women, I'd have female attention. And then when they get jacked, they'll realize, okay, not even looking good can be a good substitute for having a shitty personality and being a terrible human being. My opinion. Holy shit, Jesus Christ. Uh, that was one of the dumbest fucking videos I've ever seen in my entire life, and I enjoyed every second of it. Guys, get some help. Not all men are evil. Not all women are evil. And the number one step to not being an incel, if you want to clean your act up, get off Genshin Twitter. Okay? Stop playing League of Legends. Okay? Stop stop using accolades in video games as substitutes for real accolades in real life. Okay? Go out there. Better yourself. Okay? Eat your vitamins. Drink your milk. And God bless Tech Town. See you on the next video. But men are more evil than women. Yeah, why is that? Why do you why do you think that? Lay it on me, bro. What happened? What did men do? Tell me what they did. I'll stop them right now. And stop following Trump. I don't know, guys. I think Trump's pretty fucking based. To be honest. You know? I mean, uh, all I'm saying is, when Trump was our president, these other countries feared us. You think anybody? You think anybody fearing Sleepy Joe? You think? You think anybody fearing Sleepy Joe? Hell no. I haven't. I haven't seen the fucker. Okay, men do not do the booby shake like that one streamer. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay, we, there's got to be a better one, right? Hey, look, it's me. Look at that little dink dong. There's got to be a better one, right? Where's, where's, what the fuck is she doing? 
Where is a dancing titty streamer that we can... Why the fuck is bro in the just chatting section playing Genshin Impact? There's no way this guy doesn't view bot. Am I crazy? There's no way. There's no way bro isn't view botting. This, this dude never drops below a thousand viewers. And he just has a blank fucking screen. There's no way. There is literally no way. Rank 980. Peak viewers 3.6K. 19 hours, 2K viewers. 1.9K, 48. What the fuck is this? Okay. There's there's no way. Why isn't it showing the average average user ratio? Maybe for the drops, there's no drops in just chatting. There is no way on earth this dude is not a blatant fucking view botter. Wasn't he advertised by Genshin? Yeah, the people at Genshin are fucking idiots. There is a li you're just jealous. I have more viewers than the guy. Why the fuck would I be jealous? It's called about calling out a injustice, bro. There's absolutely no fucking way. He chats and chat. Okay, that doesn't mean that he's not a fucking view botter. There's no way. There is legit no way there's a thousand people here right now. There's no way. Are you down to play Dark Siren? Same devs as Vampire Mansion. Yeah, no, obviously, 100%. There's just, there's just no... Why does that feel so nice in my brain? I like the necklace. I want to be the necklace. Bro. That feels so good on my bro. Guys, have you ever just thought about just chilling the fuck out for two seconds? Guys, Tectone's cranking right now. <laughs> Bro, your streams are very boring. Huh? El titan speaker, man. Lo han desinfectado. What days and time do you usually stream? Uh, yo, chat, go ahead and tell my schedule. Go ahead, let them know. Let them know. He never streams. He never streams. What the fuck does that even mean, bro? Dude, dude, dude. 23rd, 22nd, 21st, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 13, twice in one day, 12, 9, 8, 7. I have streamed so much, it's fucking ridiculous. It's so irritating when y'all say I don't fucking stream. I actually stream so much. Where's the 20, the 19th? Like, I'm going to stream every fucking day. Yeah, fucking right. Guys, I, I'm trying to get my health in check. 
Okay? Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, so it's very late. That's why I can't watch it. It's fine. Bro, the only way I caught this stream is because I woke up to shit at 4 a.m., dude. Go back to bed then, man. That's not my problem. Santa got canceled? Oh, God. What'd he do? So, hey, Merry fucking Christmas, everybody. Fuck out of here, Santa! So, hey, Merry fucking Christmas, everybody. Fuck out of here, Santa! That's so fucked up, bro. Bro streams 40 hours in a month. You are actually bro, high. That I need for the stream right here. This is my alter ego. I need the Max Ween. I need the Max Ween. Uh, Roche brought me the hat that I need for this. Man, I'm bored. <laughs> How bored? True, dude. Real as fucking post. Click, please. All right. Ello Gaze. Today we have a list of top 5 Halloween. It's not Halloween anymore. No, I refuse. Alright, uh, that girl is dancing and music specifically for you. She got happy with your question. Shut the fuck up. No, she didn't. Stop that. You're giving me hope. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I didn't think about it that way. Terrorists have infiltrated a local Burger King. Oh, jeez. And they're slitting the throat of the hostages. Jinkies. Hey, prayers to the families. That's fucking crazy. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Oh, what is going on, guys? I know it's been a while, but I have a god tier video for y'all. No, you don't. Uh, what's this? It's all right. You're not supposed to have it together. A blade does not become strong until it's been through the fire. Yep. Several times. Yep. And then you're going to have to go back in the forge again. And it's hot. And it melts you down, and you're uncomfortable. Yep. And then life is going to pull you out, and it's going to put you on the anvil, and it's going to hammer on you some more. That's right. And you're going to say, what, am I done yet? No. Nope. No, you're not. Uh, you're not done yet. All nope. right? So just chill. Yep. Embrace the process. And don't look for what you are supposed to be fully, completely polished, sharpened, edged, tempered at 26 or yep. 36 and yep. it takes time but if you will patiently embrace the process you can be a man that you're proud of that's right and embrace the process you say Dwayne Watt process life yep life embrace the journey and the process of life yep that's right that's fucking right boys ghouls are basically glorified vampires that eat human flesh that's why this shit's stupidly popular on tumblr hey old buddy old pal i'm your best friend i'm good bro bl fire i don't really know how to say his name I'm going to sell ketchup that flows more than 14 centimeters in 30 seconds at 20 degrees Celsius when tested in a bow stick consistometer. Code of Federal Regulations titled 21 subsection 155.194B1.
man, I'm dead. Shout out to you, baby. And uh, I'm sorry that your grandma died. Uh, rip grandma. Rip grandma. You're dead now. It's okay. You're dead. Nothing can hurt you. You're dead. Rip grandma. Rip grandma. Rip grandma. Rip grandma. Grandma's dead now. Rip grandma. Rip grandma. That is the cutest fucking dog I've ever seen. Play games for a living. None of us. Milena and Nick talking facts about streamers. Must have any sort of talent. True. Uh, most of us are just sheer luck, myself included. Nope, not me. Um, you know, I get it. It's 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 easy to rip into streamers. Absolutely. What Connor said was absolutely dumb as well. Um, but most streamers, not most streamers, a big chunk of streamers are just people who moved out of their parents' house, who played video games for fun and accidentally made it in the gaming world True. and didn't really plan on it at all. True. Because who knew that Twitch was going to be this big okay. five years ago when you were sitting in your basement playing Call of Duty? Okay. And you probably tell your friends, man, I should have kept playing Call of Duty. No. I should have been on Twitch. No. Nope. That's like half of the big streamers on Twitch, and they have no life experience. They True. don't even know how to fill up the dishwasher. True. And you want them to give hot takes on people freezing to death? It doesn't True. make sense. Okay. You should just stay out of an argument like that because you're going to make yourself look like an idiot. Yeah, no, I agree. I would argue that I have 99% more life experience than any other streamer on the entire platform. Unironically. And my takes are still shit. So, yeah, I don't really think... Uh, <clears throat> I, I think this is a pretty fair take, to be honest. Now, I will say, my takes are much heavier, heavily, or, or more and more heavily criticized than they should be. Uh, anyways, who you got? Who do I got for what? John Moxie versus Swerve Strickland versus Jay White. Swerve Strickland, bro. They're pushing that guy to the fucking moon right now. Can you crank now? No. What is this? I'm not really crazy about this chick. I feel like I feel like Scarlet was way cooler. I feel like she looks. I mean, even this chick is so fucking hot. Like I, I feel like, damn, even this chick, goddamn. Yeah, I feel like she's okay. What the fuck is going on here, man? Anyways, that's pretty fucking nice, though. Uh, no, 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 no. The, the 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 red 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 ash. Whatever the fuck her name is. Nah, she's still cool. No, I mean she's cool, but she's not crazy. People, people freaking out over nothing. All right, here we go. Freeratio.exe. I'm going to give you five seconds to subscribe. So good every time. Oh, what is how, bro? Stop. Get that shit the fuck out of my video, bro. That, oh my God, I hate it. I actually fucking hate it. Get Klee the fuck out of my video. So what's go. the plan to make more money? Oh no. I mean make 2.1 great. Maybe if we fix our rate. Got it, next idea. What about we make a thick white food? Okay. Yep. Yep. True. She popped off. This banner was awesome. It was. Let's do it again. Yep. Okay. So this oh, banner no. was shit. We need something to make the anniversary update better. Oh, Any no. ideas? Should we listen to the audience and give them better rates and more resin to spend every day? Is that going to help us make money? No. Nope. I mean our fans will- Next. <laughs> oh my god. You you do gotta wonder. You do gotta wonder what what the fuck is Hoyoverse thinking in these meetings? Like what the fuck do they think when they go on the internet and they see Google Classroom at 1.7 out of five star rating because their game rewards are so shit that little kids have to lash out versus fucking Google. I mean, what what are they thinking when they see 160 resin? Recharging once every eight minutes. When 
after you do the story content, there's practically nothing. And people can beat the spiral abyss with their toes. You know what they're thinking? I'll tell you what they're thinking. Eh, people are going to buy this shit anyway, so eh, why bother? Maybe we can give them a low-budget event and 10 free fates login reward. Sounds good to me. God damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. I see the problem. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. They're like, eh. Yeah, this is good. But maybe we'll give them a glider to shut them up. And the game award goes to... Honkai Star Rail. Yep. We've done it. We are on top. Nothing can stop us now. We need to do something to give thanks to the fans. Yeah. How about we make a thick waifu? Been there. Yep. Done that. Yep. Have you seen our game? We need something new. Yep. Something no one else has ever did before. I have a great idea, but I don't think you would like it. Let me hear it. Hear it. Hear it. God damn. Ruan May is going to be so sick. How many more days do we have to wait, man? How how many more fucking days, bro? Three? That's it? Three days? Oh, fuck. Dude, when I win the 50-50, oh, my God. Ratio bozo. Pardon the interruption. When Ver Dude, when I saw this shit, I felt like a little kid again. I was in my bed, smiling like a dumbass, re-watching him say this like 30 times. Like, in disbelief. I, I never felt more, like, love for a game again. It's been so long. Like, when this announcement happened, you could watch the VOD. Like, I was tearing up. Because it actually felt very nice that a game company actually respects our time. Imagine that. Because the thing is, Honkai Star Rail's fan base is quite smaller than Genshin Impact's, but the faith that we have in the devs and like how much we can tell they appreciate us is actually insane. Because how free-to-play viable this game was already nuts, but now that everybody has a free five-star as well, that's insane. They listened. This isn't even a they listened moment. Nobody was asking for a free five star. They just said, eh, fuck it. Here you go, man. Thanks for being cool. It's actually insane. Version 1.6's Pantaray Event Warp becomes available. Every trailblazer who has unlocked the mail feature shall yep. receive via mail yep. one limited Five star character Dr. Ratio. Actually insane. That is to say, me. Through sheer tyranny of will, I shall become ubiquitous. With this, I bid you farewell. My God. <laughs> well. Wait. Play. Dude. I honestly can't tell which of these reactions are real and which of these reactions were fake because I shit you not. I lost my fucking mind when I saw this shit, bro. Oh my God, dude. Oh, what a fucking moment, man. I actually cannot wait. Man, man, man. When Dr. Ratio comes out, I cannot wait to be live that day. Going live, everyone picking up their free doctor ratio at the same time, everybody going to Braxophone's channel to watch the newest guide for the upcoming character. Oh my god. I, I wish I wish they would have hyped it up more. Like huge surprise on 1.6 live stream. Like, bro, can you imagine the numbers? Imagine if you were there for the live stream, you got the code to redeem Dr. Ratio. That would have been insane viewership for a live stream. And then the code was available for like a month or two after. Actually nuts. What the fuck? What? Wait. What? Holy shit. 
shit! Yep! Available from version 1.6. Dude, dude, dude. Just wait for the 2.0 live stream and just wait for the one year anniversary of Honkai Star Rail. I actually, dude, I'm telling you, when we all get a free five star selector, it's gonna be nuts. I actually cannot wait. Free four star anniversary, uh, De Chat. I am telling you, it's going to be a free five star selector. There is no way in fuck this will age fantastically. There's no way in fuck we don't get a free five star selector. Until the end of version two point one, this is the Aloy of this game. Yep. <laughs> we just get them for free. Get shit for them. There's no fuck shot. I dude, 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 dude. See, Genshin could never in every single person's reaction to the live stream. Dude, 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 my reaction to that live stream was over a quarter million views. And almost 10% of the comments are just, Genshin could never. It, it's so good, man. The salt mines were truly open that day. Fuck, it was such a good time. Oh, they just gave away a free five-star character. Yep. Keep voting for this shit. They're going to give us more. We are getting the, not even the standard five-star, a limited five-star character, Dr. Yep. Ratio, for free. Now this game is, it's, it's so much better than Netflix. It's, it's, what, what is this? What is this? Just because Starville won awards, we're getting a free limited five-star Dr. Ratio. Oh, please show the free Dr. Ratio Genshin could never trending in the Philippines, bro. That shit killed me. No, 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 fuck, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> it's crazy how angry every Genshin stan got. Dude, 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 dude. Rather than just be stoked for the game, they're just like, oh, well, the character's probably shit. They're going to be worse than Aloy. Okay, dude. Okay. Like, God, bro, they're so salty about everything. <laughs> in version 1.6 special program, Dr. Rightio was announced to be free to all players. While on the surface, this may seem like Toyota being generous. I would like to encourage people to participate. Did everyone forget we got Aloy? Shut the thing is you can clear Genshin without also a single Genshin. <laughs> oh my god, stop! Money to make the open world. Oh, just stop, bro! Freezing, eating, dying. Hands up, huh? You know we're having problems, right? No. What? Fix the guy! Nope. Nope, that's not what they're like. Right? No. Nope. Nope, that's not what they're like. Let me tell you what they're like. Oh, well, that's okay. We're just grateful that we're allowed to play your game. And even though for the fourth anniversary, all we got is one Primo gem, it's an honor and a privilege to play your game, Hoyoverse. And I love you no matter what. I think we could use a little bit more rewards. Uh, hold up, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and dox you and tell you to kill yourself now. That's how the community is. And that's how the community will always be. It's ridiculous. I don't know. Seems legit. Good vid. Classic. A rogue killer fucking banger. Boys, if you want to go like, comment, and subscribe to this video, I recommend going for it. So good. Rogue, I trust that you're going to get your Ruan May video out. Frame one of release. And your Dr. Ratio video out. Frame one of release. Surely? Surely? Who knows? Regardless, great video as always, man. So fucking good. Uh, it's posted shit. What a great video, man. 
right, Dr. Ratio may face some bullshit. What's this? <laughs> How to monster, I don't need to watch that. Genshin Cuck of Hoyo, true. All right, let's see. Uwu Fufu, best fight anime. Oh, wait, yo. Round of 256. Best fight in anime history. There's 148 fights. 128 selections. That's insane. Naruto versus Pain is the best. No, it's fucking not. That's a full stream. No, that actually, unironically, is a full fucking stream. What's this? The way I go through with red roses burn my eyes. Cold rain starts pouring hard. I've been called upon. Never let you go. This right day. Yeah, I've seen this shit. Right? 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 I'm going to say it. <clears throat> this is anti-Genshin propaganda. I won't stand for it. The main character is bad in every game. Okay? It is. Okay? Fire MC. Fire MC is also dog shit. It's not funny. <laughs> I don't. It's not that funny. I don't. You've been playing League of Legends every night and you're still only silver? Yeah, okay, listen. You don't understand how the game you works. You fucking suck! Right. Holy shit, he's so fucking based. He's so absolutely fucking based. Alright, I gotta figure out what I wanna do. I kinda wanna play a game. Yo, boys, what do we play? I need to stop reacting. It's been like four hours. Thoughts of today? Uh, let me say, Play this game? Which one? I just bought this train and it is- that's true. Dark Siren on Steam. GTA RP, bro. Um, I'm whitelisted in the server, but the problem is, is I don't know how to like actually play it. That that's the problem. I would try GTA RP for a night or two, but I actually just like I'm whitelisted. I could play. I just I literally just don't know how. You know, ask Christopher Yee. Uh, can you leak when is Black Asta releasing Black Clover Mobile? Isn't that like next month? 
learn on the spot. It was fun watching people. Just mod. Class of 09. Class of 09 will go so hard. I will unironically play Class of 09. If you guys don't mind waiting a little bit so I can go get some food. Is that is that a fair trade? I, I am super down to play Class of 09. I'm not even kidding you. Because, like, I'm fucking starving. And I also want to stretch my legs. This? This one? How many of you guys are spending Christmas alone this year? I want to let you know. I spent many Christmases alone. It's pretty rough. The day after, it doesn't matter. Okay? Don't think about it. It is what it is. Sometimes life deals you a hand that's harder to play than most people receive. But, uh, yeah. My biggest recommendation, if you can chill with me, Watch another streamer. Watch YouTube. Play some video games. Sometimes people don't have time to spend with other people. It's quite literally just a day. It'll be there next year. And if it did suck this year, then make sure next year doesn't suck and uh, maybe you have a couple homies to chill with. Whatever your reasoning is for spending Christmas alone when it happens, just realize... Hey, it is what it is, and get on to the next day. Oh, also, Daedric, thank you for the $50, man. Appreciate the fuck out of that. Merry Christmas, old friend. Glad to see your stream blowing up. Proud of you, bro. Have a happy new year. Yeah, I mean, unironically, I, I honestly can't believe how many people show up to my stream every day these days. It's actually pretty nice. I used to average like 2.2K in just chatting, and lately we've been over 3K uh, with no raid. And it feels really nice. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome, yo. Hope you enjoy yourselves. And uh, I am going to go get some food, which should take me around three and a half minutes. And then we will begin uh, Class of 09. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content lately. And uh, you've been enjoying a much more healthy and much more happy version of myself now that I've been getting to the gym and taking care of myself more often. Thank you guys for not... You know, grilling me too much about me being, you know, streaming a little bit less than I normally do. But uh, I'm feeling healthy, I'm feeling happy, and I uh, appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Okay. Be back in three minutes, and we'll grind this shit, boys. Be right back. I'll never let you go.
Yo. No, no. Oh, thank God, my muffins. Jesus. All right, we're good. While I eat, I want to watch something. Depressing it. Where is he? Yeah, Mr. Beast, baby. One thing all of these dogs have in common is that they were abandoned or rescued from kill shelters. Some of them would have even been dead by the time this video was uploaded. What the which fuck? Which is why I brought all of them here to this massive dog sanctuary to get every one of them adopted. Oh and to show you shit! How serious we're taking this video? We have an army of trainers, walkers, and even an entire team dedicated to giving the dogs scratches. Oh, that's Make cool. Make sure they get lots of love. I want hey, the somebody stop happy. this guy! And the doggos were happy, especially once the first adopter showed up. Well, Somebody go. stop this guy! What? You're gonna adopt a dog even though you already have one? <laughs> yes, we want a small dog to be friends with this guy. And if you're wondering where these two random people came from, we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a statewide ad campaign to get as many people here oh, as possible. Oh, that's awesome. What do you think of Biscuit? Oh, she's cute. If you're interested, we can take him to the park and let them play together. Yes, yeah. that would be amazing. Oh, they're running together. Yes, we love her. What's, you wanna what's wrong with her? to the next step? Yes, please. We love her so much. One down, 99 more to go. That's the cutest oh, dog I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. We got you quartered. They're all cheering him on. All right, whoever adopts Rocky, good luck. <clears throat> Too many clothes. I'm out of here. This sucks. Peach, we are not going to buy your OnlyFans. It's very energetic. And you should know that every person that wants to adopt a dog... Baby. All right, you're free, Barkley. Oh, he's great. I think we're going to do is it. ...is first put through extensive background checks... ...by an independent third-party person... ...to make sure they'll be able to provide a safe, stable, and loving home. Okay. Barkley's been officially adopted. Thank you. Congratulations. And when the next family came in... Let's go find you guys a dog. ...they noticed the dog right away. Oh, look at this. He's ready. How, How the fuck character. was that dog not going to be adopted? Oh, they're getting along so well. What's wrong with it? saying bye to Nugget and Charlie, things began to pick up. Hi, I'm Carl. You want to meet a dog instead of me? Yeah, that's like kind of why I'm here. I'm Chandler. Nice to meet you. How's it going? I'm Jimmy. Hi. You strike me as someone who... I'm here. I'm Chandler. Nice. Bro, I'm pretty sure that's the main antagonist of a Resident Evil game. What the fuck is that voodoo witch? Me. How's it going? I'm Jimmy. Hi. You strike me as someone who would like brown. <laughs> He's cute. It's the end of day one and eight dogs got adopted. But obviously the cute fluffy dogs are easy to find homes for. Yeah. Getting all 100 dogs adopted could literally take months. Yeah, let's get the fucking freaks out. But at least on day two, thanks to our ad campaign, we had 10 times the amount of people waiting. Oh Here's a cute puppy. You want to play with him? Oh my gosh. The objective is to hit him with a cute puppy when they walk in the door. Seems to be working. <laughs> I like this one. Oh, I love you. You want to take hands with Let's do that. There's so many people out here. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. I'm taking the stop home. Okay. There we go. Another one adopted. In case you're wondering, these X's don't mean the dogs died. It means they got adopted. <laughs> I like both. See if you can convince them to adopt two dogs. There is a buy one, get one free rule. They're both free. They're both free, actually. Let's get these two. I think you are the one for me, baby. <laughs> we roll. Rocky out. Chandler is introducing people to dogs. Carl's hanging out with the people in the park to make sure they don't steal the dogs. And Nolan is the closer and making sure they How do you steal a free dog? Stop the dogs. Plus, we have like 50 other people running around doing everything in their power to find these dogs' homes. We have a well-oiled machine running, and we will get all these dogs a loving home. And on top of that, every adopter gets an Yo, Tech Town, thanks for the 27 months sub. Additional surprise. So are you guys certain you want to adopt Thor? Yep. Pretty much. Then I have a surprise for you. Every dog that gets a Yo, Tech Town, thanks for the five gifted. Adopted? They also come with free pet food for life. Oh, I should probably turn this where you can see it. Merry Christmas, bro. Free pet food for life and head insurance for life. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get uh, food for life? Does not come with human food for life. <laughs> thanks to Spot and Jinx, we were able to provide premium pet food and insurance for all 100 dogs. Let's go. Thank you. Which literally means free dog food shows up at their door. Okay. I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm going to find a way to make this video bad. So. When you give a dog away for free, there's a higher chance of it going to someone who 
wasn't really that attached to it. You know, it's free, like you might as well. It's when you have the money where someone really has to take it seriously and commit. So perhaps him giving away the dog for free makes the dogs have a higher chance of not being cared for. For the entire life of the dog. That's why oh Mr. Beast God. is a piece of shit. Look at that. Thank you. What kind of angel is doing this? It's my friend Jimmy. Well, tell your friend Jimmy thank you. But that was when I met this woman who really stood out to me, having previously adopted six other dogs in her lifetime. And so we took her to see some dogs. But she fell in love with Zoe right away. That's her Dane, and she's gonna meet Zoe for the oh first my time. God. Let's see if they get along well. Butt sniffs. That's a good sign. We need you to be extra nice to Zoe, okay? Look at them running around. Zoe's gonna be extra happy in this new home. Because now Jesus. with Zoe, she will be caring for a total of seven dogs. Oh, awesome! We wanted to surprise her with a little something extra. We're also gonna give you ten thousand dollars in cash. Get out! As long as you promise to give her lots of scratches. I do that for nothing. Well, now you're doing it for ten grand. No way. No problem. I do that for nothing, pussy. Uh -oh. <laughs> Bro, her ass got pissed. <laughs> That's actually crazy. And they deserve a good home. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to give her a great home. We know that. And even though it was a chaotic day, by the end of day two, we had 44 dogs adopted. But we noticed that there was one dog who got passed up by more families than any other that day. This dog's name is Buff. What a fucking loot. Oh, never mind. He only has three legs because sadly he was hit by a car. Which unfortunately means he just may be the uh -oh. hardest dog out of a hundred to find a home for. Oh, that's so rough. This is my favorite dog over here. His name is Buffett. He only has three legs. But luckily for Buffett, we had a few new strategies for tomorrow. Because on day three, we still have over 50 dogs to get adopted. So the first strategy we used is I Damn. let everyone into the park and unleashed all of the dogs so that they could choose their own families. You got a that's cool, bro. <laughs> Have you decided I'll be real, man. I love my cats. But I do want a dog at some point in my life. Like a good dog. You know? Because I've run into a lot of shitty dogs in my life. But I know I would raise a good fucking dog. I'm wondering like I can find a breed of dog that's like good with cats. I just don't know one. Excited on the baby's name? <laughs> I kind of want a golden retriever, to be honest. A dog named Bad Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you can just jump in there. We won't lock you in. All right, you can't leave until you adopt her now. So what do you say, you want to get the leash? Yeah, why not? All right, arms up. I'm just kidding. It's a perfect match here. <laughs> you think this might be the one? I think so. You want to go home with me? She's so cute. And since we were getting pretty good at adopting dogs, it was time to have a little fun with it. Boy. What am I doing? Lay down and pretend to be asleep whenever they, oh, she just came in. Hi. <laughs> Stay asleep. <laughs> Hold it. Is he asleep? Yeah, he's taking a nap. He just tucked him in. <laughs> now get up and say, guess nap time's over. Guess nap time's over. And now go back to sleep. Oh. <laughs> Bro, they think he's crazy. Look here. <laughs> <laughs> but all jokes aside, the good news is we're finally getting more people to see Buffett. Aww. That was the worst bit I've ever seen. I'm shocked they kept that in. He likes you guys. Buffett might be about to find a family. But unfortunately... Are you thinking Tanner or Buffett? I think it's Tanner. Do you want to take Buffett back? Yeah, I think so. And we'll go take a look at a couple more? Okay. And so we tried again with these two. Holy shit, that bitch is about to kill herself. Yeah, I think so. And we'll go take a look at a couple more? Okay. And so... Oh my god! Jeez, bro, that bitch is depressed! We tried again with these two. He's a sweetheart. And he actually gets around really well. But, once again... So you, you don't want Buffett? I can't take him. Yeah, come on, good boy. And to be honest, guys, this whole situation made us really sad. Which is why we spent 50 grand on a customized Buffett marketing campaign. We will not rest until Buffett has a loving home. As you why don't you just adopt him, Jimmy? Why don't you just adopt him? You can see all the younger dogs are adopted. People are just not looking to adopt older dogs as much. And since that's all we have left, the further we go, the harder this gets. Some of these dogs are from a facility called a kill shelter. And because they are unable to refuse any animals, they are often over capacity and have to put down their dogs to make space for more. How does that make any sense? So they can't kill the dogs, so they put them to a shelter, but then it gets too full, so then they have to kill the dogs? How does that... How does that even work? 
Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. And up next, we're on day number four. And this time, we have Dave Batista, who you might recognize from- What the fuck? Why is he here? Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you. This one's your favorite? She's so loving. She's working her magic. <laughs> don't give me that look. What, what a cutie. Why don't you adopt me? What a cutie. Yeah, I have four. All, all rescues. Might be five soon. Yeah. <laughs> look at us. We both look super defined. Thank you. <laughs> and now that he looked the part, it was time for Dave's official initiation. This time, Dave's doing the adoption. Let's see how good of an actor he is. Dave, when they walk in, bark and woof to them as a dog. <laughs> Do people not get that that's not, that's not why people are here to watch a Mr. Beast video. No, and I mean, there's only, nobody thinks, oh, I'm going to watch a Mr. Beast video because him and his friends are so funny. It's literally just, hey, watch these guys spend millions of dollars and do dumb shit. No one is here for jokes. I mean that genuinely. That's an everyday thing for me. <laughs> Oh, it's kids. Hello, how are you? All right, you can stop. You can stop. I don't want to make it too hard on him. Sorry for barking. I've been speaking to dogs all day. And we have a prize for you. We have a huge prize for you guys. Free pet food for life. Jesus Christ. Christ. And we also have pet insurance for life. For your pup, yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. But wait, there's actually one more surprise. There's actually one more surprise. And then go to the beach painting, turn it around, and show them what it says on the back. Can I get the picture? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Thanks, guys. With Dave now a part of the team, we were adopting dogs faster than ever. God, before. that shit kills, bro. Oh, they're so cute. Are you taking both of them? Yeah. You're not yeah. You can't separate them. Let's go get the paperwork Let's ready. Let's do it. And soon enough, we were approaching the final 10 and hardest to get adopted dogs. Hi, baby, yeah. Who well, wouldn't want that little guy? What's going on? I have a dog named Penny, and she reminds me of her so much, so it's already feeling like we're connected. So I hate seeing her without a home, it's killing me. If no one takes her home, I'll take her. If no one adopts her, you'll take her? I'll adopt her, yeah. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. She's yeah. gonna have a home no matter what. And it wasn't just Dorley. After getting passed up again and again by families all day, Buffett seemed like he was starting to lose hope. But then something unexpected happened. Buffett seems pretty cool. My grandpa had a three-legged dog. Can I take him for a walk? Yeah. Yeah. Buffett seemed to warm up to this guy right away. Come on, hop along. Someone might adopt Buffett. Buffett had a lot of fun running around, and this guy didn't seem phased by his missing leg at all. So I've seen three-legged dogs do pretty good. I'm feeling really good about this time. I think Buffett is about to find a new home. He hated him. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a piece of shit. Imagine. Imagine. He hated that bitch. You want to go home with Buffett? Yeah, I think seems like a good dog. And to ensure that Buffett had the best possible quality of life moving forward, we also had a custom prosthetic leg made for him, and were able to give his adopter 10,000. They're a robot! <laughs> wow. Buffett found a hole. Now we gotta get rid of his kennel. Buffett, we miss you already. It's bittersweet, but it finally feels good to take down his kennel. We'll miss you, Buffett. It's now the start of day five. Only 10. Bro got 10K. Bro got a bag. About to immediately return the dog. Doggos remain. We've made some very serious progress. As so that's the strat for the uh, next Mr. Beast adoption video. Just find the biggest fucking freak dog. Pick it up. Hey, free 10K. Return that shit the next day. <laughs> What's wrong with me, man? Why am I like this? <laughs> There's less dogs. There's less options for people to choose from. So obviously this is going to get harder. And to kick off today, I brought two of my friends who are looking to adopt dogs. You might know Neil. Oh, God, they're weebs. You might know Dustin because he lost $10,000 like five years ago. It's a lot better than a million. And while you're looking for dogs, because I've spent over $2 million getting dogs adopted and don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. That's please, it. For the love of God, can I tell you about Surfshark? Of course. I'd rather look at the dogs. Surfshark is a private network provider. Don't worry, you don't have to share checks with him because okay. we have our own checks for you. Let's go. Oh, poggers! So we're gonna go find them a home. Jimmy, how do I cash these? As we had hoped, as more and more people came in, 
Some were showing interest in our older dogs. Is Dexter a shepherd? Are you, were you interested in a shepherd? Yes, that is exactly oh, what I was interested in. Oh, that is a thing! <laughs> we got two boys, so I think we need, like, a girl. She's ready to come out. Hello, pretty girl. Oh, they don't know guy! Oh, they're actually so cute! I think we need her in our life. They're so happy. So as we removed some of the final dog's kennels, we started to receive video footage from all of the families who had adopted these oh, that's dogs so, so cute. far. And she's loving her new life here. Cooper has been a great Yo, where's Buffett? To our family. This is Hazel. So far, she is doing amazing. Hi, Sarah. Oh, you got belly rub! This is chocolate. They fucking hate it here. And Jimmy will never give you your dog back for the rest of your life. Oh boy. Yes. Oh, thank you for the puppies, Miss Obies. And it was Bro's gotta be rank one of Fortnite. Really beautiful. At the start of this video, we had a hundred dogs that had been left in kill shelters or abandoned. Yep. But now only two remain. Oh my leaving god. Leaving us with Star Crunch and Doralee. And while people are coming to adopt, neither dogs seem to fit what they were looking for. For a small dog, I agree. <laughs> we don't actually have any small dogs left. I was really looking for like the younger dog. Yeah, no worries. Do you guys have any small dogs? Uh, sadly, we don't have any more. We were starting to worry that we wouldn't find these two a home. Damn. And there was nothing left to do but wait. Damn. Star Crunch. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <Carly>. <laughs> Oh, how's it going? What up? Hi. These are our final two. It's like the last pick in dodgeball. I'm looking for this one, All man. Right, Star Crunch can be incredibly shy when she meets new people. But Star Crunch gravitated right to him. We'll call you Crunch. Win him over, Crunch. You're watching all these dogs get adopted. No. Doralee. And even though it was exciting to watch Star Crunch get adopted, it was sad to see Doralee all by herself. Damn, oh my girl. god, she's actually sad. She's like, just realized what happened. And now we have one. And we're gonna give whoever adopts Doralee over there an even bigger surprise than everyone else. And since she's the only dog left, she doesn't need a kennel. This entire building is her kennel. She's so fast. <laughs> we made sure to give Doralee all the attention the last dog deserved. Damn, as bro. we waited and waited and waited until- Well, why does Doralee suck? Uh, you know? Like, why, why does Doralee suck so much they didn't get adopted? You know, like what's wrong with it? You know? Is she stupid? Oh, okay. It's old? Okay, who cares? What's the problem? So finally, one person walked in. How's it going, man? This is Doralee. Hey. Oh, Dorley. oh she seems so to like you. Yeah. What you pupper? She was saved after being abandoned during Hurricane Adalia, and now she's just looking for a forever home. I think she just found one. But before you can take Doralee home, one person has to approve of it. Just take it in her ear. If no one takes your own, I'll take her. Yep. How's it going? I need you to give your blessing, okay? Fuck no! We are super happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna give him the paperwork. Take care. Congratulations. Oh, I just oh. hung up on Dave. <laughs> <laughs> He's way too big for you to do that. <laughs> Congratulations on adopting Durley. And as a reward for adopting the 100th dog, we have $20,000 in cash for you. Are you serious? You have to promise us, you will always take care of her. Yeah, of course. Right here. Psych! Right, final surprise for the people that helped us get all these dogs adopted. Come on in. As a thank you for letting us use your place, we wanted to make a $100,000 donation. So you can keep finding abandoned dogs homes. We also brought a bunch of money for all of you that helped us get them adopted. Thank you, Spot and Jinx, for providing pet insurance and dog food. That was wonderful. There's about 50 grand of those little girls, which is extra on top of what they made when we paid them to help. Thank you for watching. Why don't we just kill the people that abandon dogs? Rather than just, uh, you know, get people to adopt them, you know, just, you know, I mean, they just, yeah, lock them up and put them on death row. Yeah. Just fucking kill them, bro. I mean, we kind of solved the problem. What's this? This on your left cheek or your right cheek? The right cheek? Did you like this? Relax. I'm gonna figure out how to fix this. You gotta let me know exactly what happened. Okay, well, it was harder than that. Harder? Was it like this? Oh, wait, 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 wait.
Wait, so what happens after that? Oh, was it like this? What what happens after that? <clears throat> uh What what happens? Uh -uh. <clears throat> Thoughts on maybe playing this demo? Let me say, what the fuck is this, bro? I'm good. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go on pass on that one. New Master Dude trailer? Uh, let's see. Yeah, nanto ka kiri no kemasta na. It's such a good fucking show. They got creepy nuts to make the theme song? That's gonna fucking bang. A nice guy. Did they actually put Harry Potter in the show? It was actually Harry Potter. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Bro, he's so cool. Yeah, I was told the show falls off really fucking hard. Like, really, really, really fucking hard, which is a tragedy. But we'll see. I'll be the judge of that. For now, set game. Class of 09. Alright. Let's go. It's funny when a girl tells her story, Whoa. only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. What the fuck is happening? For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. Pog. I thought it was the worst school, but then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them, their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Right. Like, I've never really been religious, but okay. if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, yeah. I really hope they can help me through this. Uh, it's me, bro. I'm the God sitting in the computer chair. So you're in luck. Ugh. Ooh, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Killing Nothing, myself. Just moving it. Unrelated. Do you know how to tie a noose? I'm going to kill myself. Why would I know how to do that? You were in the Girl Scouts? Yeah, we learned how to tie knots. Please tell me I kill myself in the locker room immediately. Ourselves. Well, we're just assuming a whole lot today, aren't we? Hey guys, what's going on? Why is the rope in here? <laughs> she was just asking me how to tie a noose. And like, did you help her? Should I? Nicole, are you really trying to kill yourself again? Well, this won't be a yeah. try. No? 
Uh, pick your favorite answer out of those. Why would you help her tie a noose? I didn't. Oh my god, I can't right now. Oh my god. What's her problem? What's your problem? We're not even two weeks back yet, and you're trying to hang yourself with the gym rope. Wait, Do wait, wait. You know this is the second game? Wait, I thought... I thought that this was the... I thought this was the first game. Wait, yo, Ethel, what should I play? Should I play the first one or the other one? You can play either? Okay, Ethel, which one do you think I should play? I played this one first, it don't matter? Oh, okay, thank God. Is there a way to make this shit full screen? Thank God. You, the right, cool. Jeffrey kid was doing cartoon. Well, it lags when Mr. I do that. Burliday, okay, whatever. And the guy just nodded, telling him he had a future. Nobody, all, like he wasn't. Nobody complained that it's not completely full screen. Okay, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I'm joking. Yeah. So now he's just encouraged to go up to us, talking like Elmo all day. All right. Yeah, I get it. But could you hold off on killing yourself for two more weeks? We're still partners on the lab, remember? Oh, that's your motive for keeping me alive. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, will I see you in science today? No. About that. Why don't we just go out and do something else? Regardless of whatever you say, I'm not showing up to any class with Jeffrey for the rest of the week. I exerted all that What's energy wrong with Jeffrey? to alive and you're still not going to go? You can come with me if you want. Uh, what I'm going to get into college after I graduate. Fine, go to science and let Jeffrey do Elmo voice at you. <laughs> oh, God. Where are you even going? <laughs> Oh, shit. Go to the mall, skipping school until lunch, hang out at home. I mean, shit, me personally, I kind of want to hang out at home. But then my parents might be there. I could go to the mall, but what if there's a shooting? Skipping school until lunch. Uh, I'll skip in school till lunch. This is probably your worst idea yet. What? What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or anything here. That's what I have my phone yeah, for. but is there an ice cream vending machine at home? That shit doesn't even fucking work. No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we, six? Yeah. I need drugs, Nicole. What is what? happening? Now, if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? I could be in math right now staring at the pregnant girl two rows down from me. That would be more entertaining. Is this what this. public schools were like? Because I, I went to well, a private school for 9 through 12. Looking seven months pregnant, Surely I'm not, right? Now. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian what transfer kid. What the fuck? It's so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it, too. They call her Juno to her face. Like, can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? Phones in 2008 sucked. Oh, I know. Bro, when I went to a school in 2008... The way that I would watch porn on my phone is I'd have to go to my computer at my house and then take my phone and then record my screen of the porn and then watch it on my phone. I, I There were these old games called Meet and Fuck. Y'all ever, ever seen that shit, Meet and Fuck? Y'all ever play those games? The games where they had the background music of ba da ba 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 da da Bro, that shit. Oh, crazy tip. If if you liked if you liked that, what's this? Yeah. Uh, if you like the chicks from the meet and fuck games, a lot of them are actually from a hentai called Resert Boyne. So, you know, there's a tip from one from one gooner to another. See, this is gossip. We're having fun. I guess. No fat balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us. Bro! Girls, oh. we're on our way to class, right? Nah. Uh, uh, yeah, we were just getting water for the plants in AP ecosystems. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the school. Uh, oh well, no. Yeah, we're going sprint. From California, so they only use bottled water. Yeah, and the cafeteria is the closest place with bottled water. Yeah, dumbass. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes, and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. Yeah, of course. No problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh, no. Pedophile. It's a new slang term. 
I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. Oh. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile ever. Why are you ringing my keys? Come get him. Playing Barbie? Even worse. Here you go. Speaking of sorry. Thanks, pedophile. Huh? Nothing. Wait, what? Nothing. I just have a great day. Okay. Cool. See you around. It's the new slang. <laughs> Every now and then. Oh my god, yeah. Do talk. Wait, did he just being a pedophile? There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that if he didn't? What, what the fuck? Into trying it on someone else. There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? True. You don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more You know how this game would have been better? And I'm going to just keep it a buck. If these chicks, if this was college, that we need this same game, but it's college. That would be way better. Likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is yeah. that more likely? Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? The That's fucking crazy. That makes no sense. Okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah. So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? Because they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers are ugly. It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him because they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. Nicole, you need SSRIs really bad. <laughs> what are you doing? Shit, run. Oh, go shit. On one step God of damn. Of students skipping. I think we're Yo. safe. Everyone skips here. They're going to find us. Oh, oh my God. How do I here. see her more? This particular girl's bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency exit. It'll be fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Like, you're cool and everything, but you're just like... Fucked up. True. Oh, drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping. God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles? Here? 100% yes. All of them? No way. Kelly, you've never been hit on by a male teacher. They're going to test it, aren't they? Are they going to test it? Are they going to try to find out? Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. Bullshit. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? What? He was just being helpful. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? <laughs> I told you the other bathroom's better. Are you this is crazy! No, we're just getting out of a quiz. Then get the hell out. Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first. Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addies or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. It's Chad, can I have a sub, a gifted sub, or a Twitch Prime right now, please? I would greatly appreciate it. Try to get to 4100 before the end of the stream. Thanks, guys. Would be great. I'm going to ask now. May I have a sub now? May I have a follow now? Will Can I have one net? Is anyone here actually going to buy Addies? Let them all know we're here. Yo, a theory is in Hambo. Thank you, bro. Bean. 12 a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We got to pick a new hiding spot. Photo lab or courtyard? I have a feeling that these options are actually very important. But I feel like the lab has to be dope. This is way better. 
Why didn't you think of this? You can first? save. That's cheating. I, know, I guess kind of scary in here after a while. You'll do a fat line of anything, but you're afraid of the dark. No, it's not the dark. It's just really red in here. I feel like the you're gonna saving. Hey, what are you guys doing in oh, here? Oh, I hate this uh -oh. bitch. We were just um developing pictures, but you're not even in this period. The fucking dorky okay, bitch. Well, I lied. I don't know what you want to hear, dude. You're not using the dark room to skip, are you? Some of us Never. actually use this place for academics. Academics. Oh Maybe my god, bro, killer. Holding a leaf is gonna wow Georgetown. Kill this bitch. Particular activities make you look really good on college applications. Literally kill her. You see how you dress? You wouldn't look good on anything. True. I'm putting up with this. I'm gonna get the principal, and you guys are gonna be expelled. For Please good. bring the principal. I'm gonna do my favorite thing. No, come on, wait. Why should I? Because we wanted to talk about Twilight. True. What about Twilight? What's your opinion <sighs> on how to read it? Yeah. Okay, where's the principal? No, Karen, uh, what she meant to ask was if you like your favorite Twilight character more than Ron. Uh, well, Ron from the Potter books will always be my favorite. But Edward is Oh my second. god, this is You're gonna crazy. see the Twilight movie when it comes out? Well, yeah, I read all the books. At the place in Centerville, right? Because there's less people? Yeah, I know it's run down. Bro, the two things that sucked the most with dealing with high school chicks when I was in high school. Having to hear about Twilight. Having to hear about Justin Bieber. That was the most miserable shit on planet fucking earth. Bro, I remember when Bieber fever like was sweeping the nation. When I had to listen to baby, 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 oh, like baby, 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 you know? Oh my God. It was just over and over and over. People actually thought they were dating Justin Bieber. It was insane. I was in elementary school for that. Okay, get out of my chat, bro. But I'd rather the movie be empty so I can watch it in peace. Will the ticket stub go on your wall? For sure. It's such a big movie. I actually took some of the ticket stubs down for a collage I'm working on right now. <clears throat> Do you need any help? I'm going to recite the lyrics from my head without of ever, never looking up the song intentionally. I know you love me. I know you care. <clears throat> Shout whenever. And I'll be there. You were my lover. That's all I know. That's all I know. Oh, let's go, dude. Okay, we're good. Uh -uh. Nicole could help. Help you fuck off. Uh, yeah, the glue can be tricky. Yeah, but it tastes good. I have it on a table out here. Oh, yummy. Uh, cool, yeah. We'll be right there in a sec. Sick. How the fuck did you know all that? True. We were friends in like sixth grade. Oh, socially obsolete. You made the upgrade and left her ass in the dust. <laughs> what they were trying to. Yeah, what's the story? I tried bringing her to lunch in middle school and... Oh, no. She brought up Harry Potter while we're talking about the Paris Hilton sex tape. Oh, oh my God. That's that awkward. Imagine she that. you because she doesn't know anyone else? Yeah, so I looked like a fucking baby in front of the eighth graders. <laughs> wow, she did loyalty in for the acceptance of eighth graders. Fuck the acceptance. They were going to let me try their cigarettes if they thought I was cool. What is happening? you out of free cigarettes? Yeah, I'd hate her too, honestly. I don't hate her. It's just like, what do you do with her? Ask her to hang out with you. Kill her. Yeah, it's weird now. You walk in the cafeteria and see her reading at lunch alone. She's like a hallucination reminding me of how much of a bitch I am. <laughs> you said all that shit so she'd forget about the principal. <laughs> wow, so you manipulated that poor book reader with her own childhood. She was your bestie, and you sold her up the river, you cold, heartless bitch. Holy bitch. Off, Nicole. You move every two years. You don't have to deal with this shit. I'm just going to Oh, bro, moving as a kid, that, that was terrible. Salvia and forget about her. Hey, was there a slowdown? What's the problem? Too many to list. Damn. Sorry, just sorting out the poor Karen, bro. You I'm gonna make sure she kills herself. Special movies, right? That's my plan. Yeah. Why do you have? I'm gonna get Karen to commit suicide. Theory. Is that the ping pong movie with the fat guy from Lost? Yep. I guess you're putting next to the Star Wars one. They're basically the same movie. Thanks <clears throat> again for the help. 
Yeah, no problem. So anyway, did you hear what happened with Kelly last week? No. She was at a party and somebody walked in on her right as a guy skeeted on her <clears throat> face. What? what? The hell? Why wouldn't she lock the door? I think she wants to get caught. Uh, what do you think, Karen? What's skeeted? Huh? Huh. Skeeted on? It means you it fuck kids. Mean. Um, so it's like when a boy... Dude, it's yeah. not that hard. It just means to compliment something. Excuse me. Well, why don't you just say compliment? It's just slang. Skeet, skeeting, <laughs> skeeted on. <laughs> Like how Jekka skeeted on my collage. Oh, exactly. shit, I'm this is crazy. Right now. It's awesome. Dude, I'm dude, sad. dude, when I was in high school, I would get I would get chicks to say that they love Bukaki. It was so funny. I told them that the little ice cream sandwiches from 7-Eleven, they have a brand called Bukaki. And they'd be like, oh, I love Bukaki. Dude, that shit was so dumb. Oh, bro, it was so stupid. It took so long to put together. Yeah, you're pretty cool. Hang out yeah. with me and Jekka more, and guys are going to be skeeting all over you. Yep, true. Do you really think guys would want to skeet on me? Yeah, with your glasses on and everything. You're unbelievable. What's wrong, Jekka? Oh, um, nothing, just nothing. By the way, I like your outfit. Did anyone skeet on you today? No, I'm pretty... Old. Yeah, the, the fucking eighth grade again. history teacher. Jekka really likes it when three or four guys skeet on her at once. Wow, that many? I've always thought you were really pretty, so it makes sense. Thanks. Bro. Yeah, and she never wants it to stop. Not until she's gagging on compliments. Uh, bro. Okay, so me and Nicole need to go now, but good luck with your This class, is no crazy. Problem. I'll see you guys later sometime. As an yeah, Asian... Girls. As an Asian, I don't know what skeeting means. It means when someone comes on you is what that means. It means to be come on. These writers knew what they were doing. Yeah, that's the whole purpose of the game. What does he mean as an Asian? Well, as an Asian, I can answer that. Uh, if your mom's a single... You know who to let know. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. My mom's married. Why do you want to fuck our mom so bad? Yeah, my mom's a bad person. I want to fuck. What the hell do you see? Bro, bro, my dad was trying to lay pipe on any of my homies' moms. It was insane. I'm pretty sure my dad probably fucked all of my friends' moms. He just, he just couldn't stop, man. And it was crazy because, like, he's short. He looks like me, so he actually looks pretty good, right? But his charisma, oh my God, it was dripping. Bro could spin a tail of bullshit like nobody else. He's probably how I learned how to lie so well, to be honest. It was insane. Like, bro's, bro's silver tongue was out of this world. Whoa, whoa, girls, why are you... Oh, by the way, boys, would we be interested in a shopping stream? Because uh, I kind of want to get some more clothes... And uh, I would like to write it off as a business expense. So I was probably thinking about going shopping sometime soon and uh, getting some new shit because uh, I'm starting to lose some weight so I can actually start wearing some clothes that actually look pretty good. I like this shit a lot, bro. I don't know what y'all think. Bro, I fucking love this shit. Is that not actually clean as fuck? I, I don't know, dude. I feel like it looks so good. With TTS on? Um, yeah. 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 You look like an edgy teenager. How? I will admit, though, the material of this feels really good. Like, really, really, really fucking good. True? Guys, I'm... Oh, my God. I'm turning 30 in less than a week. Will you guys like me more or like me less when I turn 30? Less? Please stop typing dick down. 
that one less dick tone, that just, I don't know why, man, that emote, it just fucks with me, bro. I don't like you now. Why are you subbed to me then? I thought you were like 40. How? I look so youthful and nice. Yo, guys, can we all just group up and just skeet on me? I could really use it right now. You know, it would just, it would sure just mean the world to me. <clears throat> Thanks, you bunch of pedophiles. <clears throat> you gotta go there. If you don't go to the ATM and get each of us a hundred dollars, we're gonna report you. Damn it! <clears throat> All right, where's my car? And we want it in fives. You know the purple five? Oh, I love the purple five. Yeah, purple fives, bitch. Who's a bitch? Hey guys, what's up? Oh, here we go. Uh, hey. <laughs> the Hi. Twilight shirt. Why is Tyler with you? Oh well, my God. We just spoke this morning and kind of hit it off. Really? Really? Yeah, he's actually really nice. Oh no. He told me he never skeeted on a girl with glasses before and wanted me to be his first. No. Yeah, no. baller shot collar, dude. Then one thing led to another and we're hanging out this Friday. And it's all thanks to you, Nicole. Oh, uh, I don't mention it to anyone. If you never taught me about that slang, me and Kyler would have never understood each other, let alone set something up. What? The other four guys <laughs> out with fuck. Four guys. Yeah, Nicole was right. I'm really popular now, and all it took was one phrase. I you mean skating? Damn right she means skating. One guy asked to do it at the movies, another guy at the football game, and then one guy was really surprised when I said he could skate all over me in public. Uh... Some guys are just shy, you know. I used to be like that, but this really broke me out of my shell. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. <laughs> She's gonna be fucked I, I up! Hitler. Is that a band, or, or are you calling me Hitler? What the fuck is gonna happen when she goes out with these guys? Your little prank turned a nice Twilight girl into the school slut. Relax, she'll probably run away when they whip it out. And what if she doesn't, Nicole? What if she fills her void of friendship with male attention? Uh, are... That's the biggest red flag when some chick tells you that all of their friends are guys because girls are too much drama. That is when you know... That shit is like throwing a hot dog down an empty hallway. Okay, it is, <laughs> it is fucking wild. Uh, uh. Are we talking about my mom or Karen right now? Now when I look at her in lunch, I'm just gonna think about guys plastering the fuck out of her. She was my childhood, Nicole. Hold on, so the idea of her getting sexually manipulated is less important than your ability to objectify her as a childhood memory. What's wrong with that? Uh, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> You're a good friend. I thought I was Hitler. You're a really pretty brunette Hitler with a drug problem. See, if guys came up with that, I'd actually try dating them. Anyway, I gotta go to class. I gotta wait for Mr. Colby to come back with the money. Oh, well, what are you doing after that? Ooh, theater class. Crispin? Here. Emily? Uh-huh. Emily? Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Taking attendance. Nicole, tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional stage production. And what makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. Don't take <laughs> Yeah, when guys. Not, right. Because I'm your student teacher. What an idiot. Power to write you up. Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> today we'll break up into two separate groups. One will do a table read exercise. Okay, I don't know if we all remember this, and hopefully this still isn't happening. Were y'all, and does this still happen? Like 10, 12 years ago, like back when I was like 18 to 20, everybody was like telling their partner that they were going to like kill themselves if they broke up with them. Is that a thing that still happens? Or no? Because I used to hear about it all the time. Yeah, it still happens. Like, I used to hear it like every month or so. Ask Destiny. Isn't that a, isn't that a woman's name? 
It still does. Oh man, I really want to share my personal experience with that. I'm going to tell this story in bits. That way it can't be clipped together. So I had this one chick who was very much obsessed with me. This was back when I was in El Paso. And whenever I tried to break up with her, she would always be like, oh, I'm going to kill myself if you leave me. I'm going to kill myself if you leave me. Uh-uh. The other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care about acting? It's a fuck around class. Like we're going to be actors one day? Yeah, no offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. I don't get why you want to act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. Yeah. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Stop calling. Holy based. Calling me ugly. No, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like. Uh... Like what? You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. <laughs> so eventually, I just said, "Okay, fucking do it then. Not my problem." Oh yeah, I see it. All right, I'm <clears> done <throat> with this. Get in your groups, so I'm writing all of you up. Hmm. Group improv, hundred percent. So how do we do this? I give you guys a scenario and you play it out. Uh, she didn't do it and now she's married and she's living a great life. And get feedback afterwards. But man, she aged like milk. Like milk. Like, I mean, goddamn. Like, it was rough. Like, she is rough. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. So the scene is you're a newlywed husband and wife in 1949, and the wife wants to know what the war was like. Hits her immediately. What if he doesn't know what the war was like? It was 1949. Everybody was just getting out of the war, or at least knew someone, right? Okay, so, so we go now? Yeah, uh, action. Hey, you seem kind of upset. Is there a thing you want to talk about? Bah! Ugh. Nah, I'm good. Okay. Oh, well, do you want to hear about the war? No. Wait, wait. Megan said you can never say no for improv. It just makes it go nowhere. Bro, oh my God. I remember acting classes where every single time you responded, you would have to say yes and, which is essentially like they give you something, you agree to it, and then you add something back. Dude, these fucking streets. This is why I don't want to do GTA RP. It's why I fucking, I'm, dude, I hate RPing with streamers. They're legit just not good. Like, the amount of just pure, no. Oh my god, it's so fucking irritating. Like, their improbability is just beyond terrible. It, it, it's so frustrating, but I, I can already tell, you know what I'm probably going to do? I am most likely going to just be a homeless person. And sit on street corners. And I think that is all I will do. I think I would like to be a homeless man. And I think that'll be fun. Watch Nick? No. Even homeless guys? IRO RP? Exactly. So you want to be Wake. Is Wake being a homeless man? Is that what he does? I don't think you need to role play that one. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, give me three more years. We'll do that shit in real life. That was the plan. Well, I guess don't do that. All right, let's try this again. Hey, wife, something on your mind? Yeah, uh, there's something I've been wanting to say lately. Oh, what's that? The N-word. Wh why would you want to say that? It's 1949, isn't it? Don't we usually say the N-word? Oh, may maybe, yeah. The N-word is probably my favorite thing to just scream in public with no repercussions. 1949 is a great year, for us anyway. Uh-huh, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? See what? That different colored family pulling up in a Lincoln. You want to do the honors? What are the honors? Calling them the N-word, duh. Why would I do that? It's 1949, why wouldn't you? Oh, right, um... Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, do you want to join the KKK? It's normal. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Dude, oh, fuck, Megan. 
What's the matter? Crispin said no during the improv. What the hell, Crispin? We went over this. No, but... Another no. I told you to get that word out of your vocabulary if you're gonna do this exercise. Yes, yeah, say it. Yeah, but the situation got kinda... The situation doesn't matter. It's improv. No matter what, you never use that N-word. If you do it again, I have the power to fail you for the quarter. All right, so, uh, resume scene. But yeah, honey, should we sign up for the 1949 KKK initiation? N okay. Great to hear. By the way, could you tell me about the war? Oh, and use the N-word as much as possible when describing it. And scene. Oh, all right. So how do we do? Oh my uh, god! I'm gonna have a talk with May. <laughs> she is literally the biggest piece of shit on earth! Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. Okay. About... What? Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. It was 1949, bro, relax. Okay. Is that it, or... You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as such. This okay. disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program, got it? Dude, what the right. fuck ever? I just told you, don't treat me like your classmate. I'm your teacher. <laughs> it was in Minecraft, Megan. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me. Oh my god, chill out. If you don't Jesus. get together, call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think it's all fun and games, Nicole? Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? <laughs> don't change the subject. <laughs> We're talking about you and your issues right now. Jesus Christ, okay. Dude, dude, I cannot wait with how much ammunition I'm going to get from this game. Not the N-word. To use on other people, bro. Spiritually? Spiritually. I fuck with this chick's aura so much. This is the human... This is the anime embodiment of Dick Town. This is what we need to become. This is what we need to be. Not the N-word part, though. But the other parts. Okay? This this needs to become who I become. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an <laughs> ugly Hermione? Yeah. I have no part of that. Go ahead. Call me ugly again. No, yeah. thanks. Uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan? Can I get the fuck Not the KK here, pro part either. Excuse, Not that part either. sweetie. But work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist. Holy shit. <laughs> So then she would shut the fuck oh, up about how special the the TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a ripoff. I don't know how someone manages to be more boring than the regular shit. Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know. Why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you in drama? It's a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher, who's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? <laughs> so I'm just doing whatever. I'm not really caring. And then she stops me outside after class oh, and gets super in my face no, about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm gonna fucking write you up, get you suspended, like all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum True. kid. True? Yeah, control freak for real. Once a bitch, so always a bitch. Class? Nah. I'm nah. Good. I'm gonna drop her ass. Kill her, make her kill herself. A little old for revenge. Oh, so now you're taking her side? No, no. Put rice in, in her course, medicine. I'm just not getting involved. Because you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future? Revenge is a dish best served cold. Like pizza. Well, do you seriously eat pizza cold? Yo, Dr. Clodo, they're the 4,000 bitch. Would you ever do an IRL fishing stream? Absolutely. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza's just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one you'll like it more. Dude. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you <clears throat> forgot again. Okay, am I crazy? Or like, is this the school that I went to? Or did every high school look the fucking same? I, I swear to god, I've been here before.
This is like actually trippy as shit for me. Theater. Oh yeah, I can like order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. True. Uh, I'll, I'll try better next time. Stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student too. What do you mean student too? They're dating, you didn't know that? Oh my no. god. It checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it too. He's flirted with like three of my friends so far. Oh my god, that's insane. You know what else is insane? Do you know what else is insane? Quitter bitch looking ass. Clicking sure legally confirms you don't have any friends. Damn, I got no friends. Hey, boys. It's late. Uh, appreciate all y'all chilling with me today. If you have not followed or subbed yet, I would greatly appreciate if you did. We'll do more Class of 09 tomorrow. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And December 29th is my fucking 30th birthday. Honkai Star Rail 1.6 is on the 26th seems like we'll have a lot of content seems like we'll have a good ass time and with the way things are going right now i will most likely be streaming on christmas um and i will most likely most likely be streaming on christmas eve as well okay hope you guys have a wonderful night i appreciate the fuck out of y'all being here I hope to God none of y'all just got really sad because I'm ending the stream. I will be live again tomorrow. Uh, and Merry Christmas to all you guys who are here. I appreciate the fuck out of all y'all. Okay? Any hope for earlier streams? I wouldn't say early streams, but earlier streams, sure. Yeah, probably. You know? Probably. Probably. I mean, my streams would be way earlier if Asmongold would just stream later. But he's staying on a good schedule, and I don't want to ask him to change it. Because, like, it's nice that he's actually being on healthy terms for once in his life. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Hope you guys had fun here. I appreciate the fuck out of all y'all. I'm going to go chill out in my bed and play some TFT. So I will see you all again tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful fucking night. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to follow my alt, it's at John Tectone. I go live on there from time to time and uh, would love to see you guys there next time I see you. Okay. If you haven't followed my Twitter yet, I recommend that you do. If you like a grown man uh, bullying children on the internet, uh, I recommend that you go follow it because that is all I do is harass minors. Okay, I will see you guys again very soon. Appreciate the fuck out of all y'all. And uh, if you guys come to tomorrow's stream, I'll skeet on all your faces. Have a wonderful fucking night, boys. Merry fucking Christmas. I appreciate the fuck out of y'all. Peace, boys.